Going live. All right. So last time on Dragon Ball Z, we finished the book, um, the Lore of Larue. So just fast forwarding, since we're um, to not take up too much time, you ended up running through, met Sabrina Singola hiding in the woods with some good checks from Fix, I believe it was, and she told you she was being chased by werewolves. Um, you found these werewolf cultists trying to do some ritual at the lake, um, and just as you got there, as the good module intended, right as you get there, they succeeded in their ritual and summoned the corrupted unicorn avatar. Um, yeah, the, the party had some held actions and ended up smacking the werewolf cultists, um, and they would have totally ignored you otherwise. Hmm. But, yeah. oh well. Um, pretty handily polishing off the avatar of Larude, but not before it got some pretty honking attacks in. It was horrible. I was a bad unicorn. No, it was, it was corrupted by werewolf cultists, you know. It was a nightmare. (laughs) 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 The joke wrote itself. Sorry, go ahead. Now, there's Nightmare Mountain Final Fantasy that you guys will get soon, and I I I want it. Funnier than it had any reason to be. It looked very similar to that one. (laughs) I've seen it. I want the glittery pony, though. Unicorn. Yeah. All right. All right. So you uh, de- defeated the avatar of Luru and cleansed it, and it became a regular avatar of Luru. You saved the day and got sparkled out of the book, receiving a couple of rewards. Um, what for one? Everybody received a level. Um, you received a ring of. Shooting stars. Shooting stars. I was trying to say spell swarm. I was like, that's not right. Um, shoot, ring of shooting stars, and Fix took some knowledge from Sabrina, receiving her beloved palm pistol, and gaining the knowledge of an artillerist artificer. Yes. Party. I'm so excited for that. Right, and that's pretty much where we left off. Um, what you guys won't do. What time is it? Have we been awake for a long time? I, f- I get lost in the way. We should probably go back to the inn and check. You would see that um, it, ap- it appears to be early evening. You spent two to three days inside the book. but Or no, about two days. Two days inside the book. Um, but time, is, time moved sl- more slowly out here. So it's early evening. Okay. Well, do we want to retire to the inn, or do we want to make the trek to the wizards before we oh, sleep? I almost started to interrupt me, so I One thing I almost forgot, you also got the final, third and final of the magical acorns. Mm-hmm. We were, we were going to go see if Danica can go ahead and give it back to the wizards of wine so we can save ourselves a, uh, oh, a trip. Sweet. Oh, yes. Right. So, um, two birds, one stone. We, on our way back to the inn, we might want to go check and see if our cold here is ready. Ooh, it sure. would be ready. It's been now. enough time. Uh, and, um, maybe. sorry, but lastly, we should probably identify the bone dildo. <laughs> if this is a piercing weapon, I will giggle <laughs> until someone else dies. <laughs> Things DMD forgot to DM DM prepare forgot to prepare again. Good God! Um, <laughs> I'm just going to write you on your vacation. Remember the bone dildo. I was gonna say how, why, why, why? <laughs> Name. Why does it take so much for a um, gay man to uh, remember, remember a dildo? I just. I fucking forgot. I'm not even gonna give you an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. That reminds me, I've got batteries. I need to charge. <laughs> <laughs> what even? 
I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the game man in the chat go, what? <laughs> I think oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I, I got there. Sorry. It took me a, <laughs> took me a few extra steps. But I got there. No, you know what? You know what? I, I know what this is gonna do. I've decided now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <Lord>. Okay. So shall we look at I to see? Run away. Run away. <laughs> They're gonna yes. die in their sleep with this magical eye. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna feel like they went to heaven. <laughs> I guess so when you're ready to identify, I can I don't have it made, but I I can make it up real quick once we are there. That's what she said. Oh yeah. Moon's good at faking um, it. Cool. No. So, <laughs> yeah, we retired. Oh, wait, oh, were we going to stop by and see if we can um, see about our cold gear? Do you think the mm -hmm. shops will be open at this hour? We can try. If not, we can go in the morning. It's early yeah. evening. Um, estimated roughly about 5, 6 p.m. Let's not receive the night outside of, uh, you know, the town. So, we should make haste. Uh, well, let's get going. Fast travel. I mean, fast travel to the church inn. Uh, we were gonna check the um shop. Oh yeah, you're doing that first. Cool. All right, so you fast travel to the shop, and your cold weather gear is ready. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. So everybody can get the gear that they requested with whatever embellishments. How does that work for me? <laughs> oh shit. You're a town guard, you probably had something <laughs> issued. Uh, that's actually a valid point. You might have cold weather here from, you know, being part of the town guard. Give me, um, Quentin, roll me a d20. Oh. Uh, yes, you would have cold weather. If you ro rolled below ten or below, you are not going to have it. And you and um, that would have sucked. Yeah, yeah. Um. Oh God, Zenzo's gear would have had to have been outfitted for you overnight, and it would have been ridiculous. Tiny little loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Also, can I just point out we were having that whole conversation about you know the bone dildo and all that while I'm stuffing my face with a double beef sandwich. Oh my. <laughs> that sounds about right. Alright, so... This is fashionable. I hope it will keep us uh, sufficiently warm. I'm nope. assuming that mine, since I have plate armor, is basically a fur lining or something of the sort inside it. Yeah. Okay. Ro will immediately take her cloak back and throw it on, not caring that it's probably now too warm to wear it every day. She missed being hidden and covered. <laughs> Flips the hood up immediately and just, okay, I'm good. <laughs> Safety blanket. Don't, Indeed. I don't like people seeing the horns. It's fine. Sure. Oh. <laughs> I'm not now saying anything we've, uh... bad about yours. I just don't like mine. Okay. Well, now that we so... picked up our stuff, uh, and Quentin seems to have gear of his own, then, uh, it's a good thing. Yeah, just in prepared. case we have to help out somewhere. Yeah, that's smart. That makes Valid. sense. Uh, Quentin, do you, you live here, right? Um, I don't own property, but I do live here. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you, you're more than welcome to join us at the inn if you like. Just don't steal fixes bed Just again. Just get your own room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I apologized. You're fine. That's all I can do. It will be alright. Okay. It's well, you can... Head. If you want, you can shack up with me. I always get the bigger room. 
Or just me don't need tell to... bro, she might get jealous. Bro will just kind of flip him off. I also have a double room. Oh, competitive. That was a weird respawn. No, I'm just saying that's where Fix slept last time, so why would I get jealous about Mitsu sleeping with someone else? Here. Alright, well, we have a good arrangement so far, so I am going to have a drink and a nice meal, a nice hot meal, because where we are going, it will be very, very cold. You know, Tiefling, your blood will keep you warm. That's true, but... I don't think we're going to have a nice hot meal again soon. Probably not. <sighs> when we get in, I'll go up to the bar and talk to Danica about the... It's a shame Zenso kept the book. The card, sorry. Yeah, I, I actually thought about those earlier. We should have Zenso come by the tavern and drop us off the deck of cards as a thank you for, you know, putting him in charge of the town. I don't think he should be really thankful for that. I feel that like he's gonna need that to be actually, like, be able to cope with everything that's gonna get thrown I mean, at his... We can file a complaint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he would be thrilled to hear from us that way. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Here's Senzo. There's a lot of meowing coming out of the Wafter house. What's going on with that? Oh, what the fuck? I had? <laughs> <laughs> There's a noise complaint on that. I'm gonna go talk to Danica and give her the acorn. She looks at you with the acorn, acorn and thanks you. She says... Oh my goodness, this will be absolutely amazing for our family. Thank you so much. Just see that your brother gets it back and let him know if there's anything else you, get, you need. Any of you, we are more than happy to help. Okay, are, are you sure you don't prefer to bring it to him yourself? We've got business down south. So we would have to go across Barovia and back, and we think the less we wander, the better right now. But with us succeeding in pissing off a certain person at every turn. Do you think it's safer for us to deliver it, or, uh, or any merit for us to deliver it personally? Hold on. Sorry, Ernie just came in here. Um, distracted me for a sec. Um, well, if you bring it yourself... Um, Whatever reward you receive could be you would receive it sooner. I do not know what my brother might have for you. Um, however, I can certainly deliver any reward that he might have back to this place, and we can meet back here. Um, and I'll I'll make sure you receive whatever reward he ha he has in store. Let me double check with the party just in case we may end up delaying the Amber Temple for a day or two. Actually, can I see the overmap of Barovia? We have a little bit of time, so that's the reason why I was kind of suggesting that. I'm just thinking it's... So... We're over in Velaki. Mm -hmm. Wizard's Wine is all the way over there, and there's no real easy way to the Amber Temple. DM question would be... How... How long would it take us from Velaki to Wizard's Wine? Day travel, or...? Um, it would be to get there, like, half a day's travel, probably. It's really quick. We can do, we can knock it out in one day, back and forth. Delay the Albert Temple by a day? What does everyone yeah. else think? We can even pit stop in Nargan Bostold on the way to the Amber Temple if we need to. I don't know if we have any unfinished business now, we don't. But it's a safe place. But it is a safe split, uh, place. So maybe the reward will be a good boon for us. Maybe it'll help us. Yeah. 
could any any help we have for that accursed place? Honestly, yeah. Can we cross the river down? Okay, we can. There's a crossing down there. There is something else to consider. If we go from Velaki straight to the Amber Temple, we do have to pass Ca Castle Ravenclaw, Ravenloft. If we take the slightly longer way and go from the Wizards of Wine down below Berez, it is down there, and we don't have to get as close to Ravenloft. Why do we have to go through Ravenloft? Not so the castle, but the least elevated route to the Amber Temple is closest. On the doorstep of Ravenloft. Because isn't the... isn't the... What's the, it called? The Amber, the Amber Temple, Temple right Temple, over here? Yeah, the Amber Temple is here. You have to go down through this way. You'd have to swing by by Berez and then go through. There's no reason for us to go anywhere near Ravenloft. Well... It's on the clear opposite side of the map. That's why I was saying we can go ahead from Velaki, head to the Wizards of Wine in a day. If need be, we can go ahead and stay there, or we can go back to Ardivostold, where we know that it's safe, because there is, you know, a, a modicum of safety. We can camp there, and then head down to the Amber Temple. Well, if we take this route here, um, if we go from the Wizards and back up through... Um, it seems to be, there would be a slight climb here, but from there we have a fairly decent climb over this here, and we could take this pass to the temple. I see. Yeah, uh, that works too. So we're gonna go so wide. The wizards would be, you know, not so far out of the way if we took that pass. That's, yeah, that's a good course. I'm supposing you've never really been anywhere we're talking about, Quentin. You know, help with it. I uh, visited the Wizards of Warren once. Hopefully, on good terms. Uh, it was just to pick up an order of wine and guard it back. A while back. Well, we're good well, friends with them, so we'll be heading over there tomorrow. Any objections or any different plan suggestions? I think this is the best route for us. Put it to a vote. Anybody uh, who uh, does not want to do that? What are we doing? <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> what are you doing? Kelly, we're going to go <laughs> kick some ass. Is what we're going to do. I, I'm going to roll d20 for my answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's very chaotic neutral of you. I got an 18, so that's yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Quentin? Right. Yes. Cool. I think all we're right. all in agreement. Okay. So we should... Is nobody going to ask Pickle? Business. Like, we're just going to forget the Pickle. No. I, I'm full agreed to... <laughs> you agreed? To go to the... Wizard of Wine. Yeah. Maybe we can find him a new keg. I'm now getting a picture because we're crossing the river, so I've now got that whole scene from The Hobbit of the dwarves in the kegs bouncing down the river, except with Pickle. <laughs> we should wrap up our business here. The then. same link to it to fixing my wine cask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I think I'm going to bed. Is anyone sharing my room tonight? <sighs> um, if you wouldn't mind, I'll spend the night with you, and uh, Quentin can have my lodgings. That I'm is perfectly gonna, fine. If, if it's okay with you all, I'm gonna head to the barracks and just make sure my affairs are in order. Oh, well. Okay. That works. We'll see you in the morning. It sounds good. You're still welcome in my room if you want me to sit here. Sure. <laughs> Are you guys going to identify the mystery bone dildo? We can do that here. Who can? I don't know if anyone can. Uh, shit. I don't have the spell, but. Oh. I think I can? Question mark? No. 
I know I can. We can maybe like arc on it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't do that tongue thing. <laughs> I'm sure you do you that could... tongue thing, and you're perfectly fine. Get at it. <laughs> well, I mean, Mitsa may not be great with identification. <laughs> she doesn't discriminate. <laughs> and now I've got songs from fucking Hamilton in my head. I don't like you guys. Yes, you do. <laughs> I can't even take uh, identify. No. Uh, I I have detect magic, but that's if I sleep <laughs> on it. And also, by the way, I need to. Should I prepare it then? Change my spells. Probably life. fix. You can fix yeah, that problem for us. Let's do it. <laughs> so we can identify in the morning before we All take right. off. Are artificers prepared spellcasters? Yes, yeah. they are. Uh, yes. And I can also ritual cast. I don't have to eat up a spell slot. Yes, that's God. A, that's a third level slot set. You could use that. I don't remember what spells I was going to prepare. Well, you can all hit the long rest button and finish up your level ups as need be. So, take uh -huh. it for that. I don't think I need to change any spells. Evasion, my baby. <laughs> I finally get a plus one to my initiative rolls. Woo! Yeah. So now I can roll twos. <laughs> <laughs> Eight was a good level up for me. Hell yeah. Mine was kind of a neutral one, except just uh, just just an ability score improvement, in which oh, everybody's God. like, oh, that's, that's a it's lot. such a big deal. I'm like, well, whatever. It, really it doesn't feel like it, it is. It really is a lot. No, they're great. They give you permanent additions as long as it's as long as you're hitting an even number. You've got a permanent addition to one of your stats. I didn't know so... anything about this even numbered situation until like Alaric was telling me about it last week, okay. and now I'm just like, oh, my stats are fucked. Yeah, I then, tried telling you earlier, but... <laughs> we have to plan for your next character, then. Clearly. Yeah, you blind, blindly... I just don't want to min-max shit, is all. I, I, I well, want... and you don't have to, but, like... You should have seen the character yeah, you know. I built for the session we aren't going to end up doing tomorrow. That was slightly ridiculous. It wasn't even min-maxed. It was just using even numbers to my advantage. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm certainly not a min-maxer, Eli can attest to that, but it is, if you're a caster, it's good to get your main stat up to 20 ASAP. In general. Uh, just a heads up to everybody, I did take mm -hmm. Detect Magic, just in case. Right. Okay. Right. Remind me, I because I honestly that I can ritual it, but... forget that kind of shit. It's more of a Detect Trap kind of situation for me. If there's a Magical Trap, sure. Puppy. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god, that flop. <laughs> it gets crushed by spikes. Fuck, I I mean, mean, trap. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna do anything against mechanical traps, but... Fuck! <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We, you can, if you want to switch it, you can. Still, no, but... no, no. I, okay. that, this, was a, this was a planned change for me. Okay. I was hoping, because honestly, I can't think of anything else that I really, 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 really want. I kind of mm -hmm. think I should I already have... have Command, Bless, and uh, Shield of Faith, which were of my big big ones i feel like my spells are all over the place and i'm half tempted like not right now but at some point to send it to eli because he's build spellcasters as much as i, I do <laughs> he looks concerned <laughs> but no bro uh -huh. is fine for right now i had to pick the two biggest spell carriers to multi-class into <laughs> Warlock is a great one to multi-class with mm -hmm. another caster, though. Getting the packed magic alongside it, especially because all the other casters are long rest, that re it's really nice to have some spell slots come back on a short rest. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. It, and you can cast your um, cleric spells or your warlock spells with the packed magic, so it's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw her flop like that. It was adorable. It's a sploot. <laughs> She's polluting. Hey, everybody, get on their level ups. Level yeah. Ups. Anything else we need to do tonight? <laughs> I think I'm sleeping. 
This your meat sack. I'm immune <laughs> to her snores. It's fine. If you look over though, Mita, you would notice Ro fell asleep with her cloak over her, like the hood up over her face, face down. So she is in complete darkness, and she is just out. <laughs> I'll be studying my artificer book within the chapters of firearm. Read the book. Wonderful. <laughs> You gain a little bit more insight onto how the firearms work. You learn about gunpowder, creating little mini explosions to propel uh, projectiles forth. Ay -ya! Ding ding Door ding ding bling 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 Had to take pictures of this blue. No. <laughs> God, I'm that fucking pet owner. Welcome yeah, to owning a pet. Yeah, that fucking guy. pet owner. God damn. What's the point of having a pet if you're not gonna show it around? I took yeah. her for a fucking little ride today in the car, and she's like trying to jump out of the fucking window with mm -hmm. uh, trying because she's fighting the air, and I'm just like, you're so stupid, and I love you. But did you get her a a, a puppuccino? I did not get her a puppuccino because I'm trying really hard to keep her off of human foods. Mm -hmm. And that's like, puppuccinos are basically just whipped cream and it's right. really processed. I want to make sure that she's a little bit older before I start introducing her to like really heavy foods like that. Mm -hmm. Understand. Okay, I gave her a that. tiny, tiny, tiny little piece of pepperoni the other day, though. She seemed to like that. Well, nice. hell yeah. She loves apples. My dog's like broccoli. My cats oh, like hurts. broccoli. I found oh, out oh, yesterday oh. that you're not supposed to feed them onions at all. They're like so no. bad for them. Mm -mm. I was not aware, and so oh. like I, I didn't feed her anything. But every time I like <laughs> want to feed her something, I'm like, can dogs eat this? Grapes yep. are another big one to watch out for. Grapes they can eat, but they can't eat the 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 wrapping, the wrapping the skin. skin. Be very careful because it they don't know I what causes it, but some dogs can't eat anything great. Rapping. Oh, I see. Um, and also... <laughs> Leave me alone! You want to know a funny thing? They always tell you to give your dogs pumpkin, like, if, if, they're, if they don't seem to get full. I have a dog that's allergic to pumpkin. Oh, God. She's yeah. had a ton of pumpkin treats because that's what we use at the, at the store to, like, um, train her on some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, I know that she's not allergic. So far, anything I've fed her to, she doesn't seem to be allergic to uh, to it because she's not like excessively scratching her. Mm -hmm. um, also, watch out for xylitol in peanut butter. I already fed her peanut butter. Already good. Yes. No, I'm not saying peanut butter specifically. I'm saying watch out for the ingredient xylitol. Oh, okay. It's a fake sugar that is lethal for dogs. Is that in Jif? I don't know what brands have it. I haven't had a dog in Because that's what I gave years. her, and she's been totally yep. fine. It's not a common ingredient for peanut butter. It'd probably be in, like, diet, low-sugar type ones. Well, nobody should be buying those anyway, so. Yeah, it's just, like, <laughs> chewing gums also have it a lot. Like, things like that. Just watch out for that ingredient. Give yeah. me originals. <laughs> <laughs> they have uh, I try my best to keep an eye on her because she's a little vacuum, too. So. Yeah. That's cute. My dogs like carrots and, and broccoli. They're weird. <laughs> My cat likes to eat fucking hair ties if she gets her paws on them. Mine fetches them and brings them back to me. No, Lexi will fucking straight up eat them. Like, I've, I, because I would have them, like, laying on a table or something. Uh, there was a couple times when I saw her throw up a hair tie, uh, and I've had to be very, very careful about putting them in a drawer or something and not leaving them out on a table, because she did it two or three times. I was just like, oh my well, god. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just going to say, as a resident hairstylist here, you should be using hair ties anyway. You should be using scrunchies. So I switched to scrunchies not very long ago. Yes. Hair ties uh, are bad for your hair. Oh my god, I lost so much hair because of fucking hair ties. I just love how easily distracted the gr oh. us we are as a group. I'm just saying to all my gorgeous guys here with long hair, scrunchies. Hey, I'm entertained with everybody's life. Uh, scrunchies. I'm gonna go cut my fucking hair off again next week, and I decided. I'm going back to my ear length hair. Bright blue and ear length. Long and Mine golden hair. Mine, mine's down to my butt now, and I'm thinking about chopping it off again. 
Yeah, we know, Boone. You're just Rapunzel over there. You're fine. <laughs> Show it off. Talking about it. Just gotta one-up us, huh? I'm waiting for Eli to see what I sent him about FMA. Because <laughs> I meant to send it when he got his dice tray. <laughs> I am getting a glare and he hasn't even read it yet. <laughs> Okay, good morning. It's the morning. What are we doing? Yeah, I'm sorry. Ooh, we got sidetracked. <laughs> yeah. We're glamorizing. <laughs> we're, we're, we're filling in the blanks because we're, this is supposed to be a short session today. So we're, we're, we're trying to, like, really squeeze as much as we can out of it. Um, <laughs> yep. So we're already going off track, so we're doing somebody a good job. Give us some, somebody give us some really traumatic backstory lot in this style. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, you guys have already gotten my backstory pieces well, of it. I was a mushroom, and I was picked, and I was cultivated, and I became me, and then I died, and I was mushrooms again, and then I came back, and here I am. Wonderful. That's, that's my backstory. Oh, yeah, I was kidnapped by y'all at one point, but now I like you very much. <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome? Yeah. Yeah. Long story. <laughs> okay. She was technically stealing these little acorn pineapple pineapple acorns pineapple acorns things. Did you say acorns? Pen pineapple apple pen. Pen pineapple. <laughs> these pen pineapple apple pens. She they her and the other druids were stealing them. And the wizard to wine could not make wine because of it. Well, I was hungry. Let's just... But now she knows better, and she's awesome. All right, let's just eat our breakfast and get on the road. Yeah, let's let's eat. With Annika... mushrooms. <laughs> With mushrooms, yeah. Novel, it sounds good. Oh, yeah. We're, we're calling for Danica to get breakfast and all that good stuff. Go ahead and go eat in. us. Eat us, Danica. <laughs> we... Ro will just have her normal black coffee and sit there half glaring at y'all. Very clearly not a morning person. Danica's so feeling as people up. I think you're just not a human person. I'm not human. I'm a tiefling. <laughs> you got a little bit of human in you. Mm. I got a little bit of human in me. Semantic, ew. <laughs> well, I mean, Oscar had a little bit of human in him earlier. I'm a half orc. Oh, Cat. That, oh, you, you meant biologically. <laughs> Isn't Oscar all human anyway? Yes, yes. I am. Yeah. Oh, um, right. ritual casting identify. Oh yeah. Okay. Do you have the the dildo? Uh, I will ask for it. Was uh, Mitsa was the one holding it? Was I? I thought it was in the bag. You? It's what? in the bag of holding. I, re I reach into the fucking bag of holding and pull it out. Never mind. All right. I will hand it over okay. to Fitz. <laughs> now I will ca ritual cast. Identify. Ten minutes go by. People eating their breakfast. And you gain insight into the magic of this. Your vision goes dark for a second and you see sort of devilish demonic more like demonic thick visions in your eyes for a moment and you look at this and you realize that this is a weapon right. this is the bone devil's prick bone devil's prick so Why this is a stabbing weapon <laughs> this, is a, this is a plus one dagger um, and once per long rest, you can um, use your bonus action to surge the residual bone devil energy through the dagger to channel the energy of a bone de devil sting attack. You'll deal an additional 5d6 poison damage, and the target must succeed on a DC 14 con save or be poisoned for one minute. That's Ooh. awesome. The bone devil's prick. <laughs> <laughs> it is created, um, so figure out who would like to use it. Bone devils are assholes. Um... <laughs> It does take your action plus your bonus action to use that, but it's a pretty fucking good ability. Yeah. Well, who's you... um who's proficient with daggers, or you can use it? Mm. Yeah, I am. I'm proficient with simple weapons, to... so I think that includes a dagger. Yep. 
at the acts of cheesing. That would be me too. I also have a good deck for it. Yeah, my deck is not so good, so. Definitely I think not daggers something can, I can use, use strength. I think daggers are finesse. I think they can use strength or decks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not Do my weapon of choice, unfortunately. I um, mean, I've got the Lux Stone, so I've got my magical item. Do you, you should use it, Fix. Because Mandy got the ring. Mm -hmm. I got a gun and a deck. I'll take it. Nice. All right. Oh, right. You did get the gun. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Good luck. Back uh, you needed up a, one. You needed a good melee weapon, I guess. Just in case. Oh, I, I mean, if he ends and up did... not using it, I might snag it from him, but... And I did update it um, because I forgot to type it in. In order to use that additional feature, you do have to land and attack first because it's like you've stabbed them. So, like basically, once the, the way I'm seeing it is you've used your action, you've attacked, you can use your bonus action to surge the extra damage through it. Makes sense. Cool, 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 cool. So you have, once per long rest, you can literally use a Bone Devil attack. Mm. Poison? Yeah, it's the uh, it's the Bone Devil sting attack. You channel the damage and the poison effect. Poison. Mm. That sounds gross. I love. It. Yep. Sounds good. A lot of resistant people to that. <laughs> mm. I mean, there are, yeah. but five d six extra damage on a weapon attack is pretty oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, everybody finished with their breakfasts? Well, we'll take one last drink of our coffee and drain the cup and, yeah, yeah, I suppose we'll get on the road. I'm glad we had some eggs this morning. Oh, Danik was going to say she felt inspired. Her breakfast special today was, um, an acorn hash. Nice. Yum. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I was going to say, when she got the, the acorn, it's like, this is going to look good on a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Who's holding the acorn, by the way? I have it currently, I think. Okay, cool. Because I was talking to her about it last night, and I will let her know before we leave that we are going to go see her brother and ask if there's any messages she wants passed along. Um, Danik would say... No, I don't think we have any messages we need to pass along. We have our networks. We are able to very quickly and officially pass along messages. Um, you could bring him payment for the last shipment of wine if you'd like. Of course, we'd be happy to. She hands you a fat coin purse and plops, or plops a fat coin purse on the counter. I'll just take it and... Oscar, put this in the bag, please. Sure. I'll <laughs> grab it and throw it in the bag of holding. You can add wine payment to your inventory. <laughs> and we keep it. <laughs> I mean, good. Yeah, we are on very good terms with them. I'd like to keep it that way. It has proved beneficial. The ultimate long con. <laughs> Not long enough. <laughs> Just what I said. <laughs> So, shall we get on the road? Let's... Yeah, let's, um, wait. Where's our carriage? Oh, yeah, outside. Hmm. Forgotten to feed the horses. They're all dead. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the horse is replaced by a magical orb pushing the carriage. Yeah, that the followed along. us out of the book. <laughs> Look, we've had weirder happen. Real quick, while well, we're traveling across Barovia, I am going to go get my other chair because my back is seizing and this one is not helping. And I did grease it so you guys won't hear it as much. So give me a second. Okay. Incoming here. butt. Incoming yeah. butt. You just like staring at it as Mitsa okay. looks over excitedly. Look, everybody's looking at you like, oh, it's happening. We'll call her Mooney. <laughs> I definitely fucked up the, the drink today, but it still tasted good. Okay. 
Good. What drink? You wanna? What drink? A high elixir from the Final Fantasy XIV cookbook. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. It's like the only thing I know how to make. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from my regular drink, which is, you know, whiskey and coke, which I don't want right now. Mm-hmm. High elixir is one of my favorites. Yeah, I, I want to try the other one, it. the explosion, but that requires going out and buying lavender. That is a commitment because I haven't been able to go to the um, the market with Motoha. Mm -hmm. Although I did leave her for about 15 minutes by herself a couple of the days ago in the kennel and she was fine. I used to take Frank to the farmer's market with me all the time because he walks <laughs> on a leash. I'm not kidding. He walks I mean, on I'm... a leash. And... I'm definitely going to do that, you know, when she's able to go out and about and, like, in the world. But right now, until she's done with the vaccines, I can't really take her, like, walking anywhere. This is a I remember... Reminder, Frank is one of her pigs. Yes. <laughs> the the lady... the There's the lady there, um, and she's usually right down from the post office. And she has all these great pastries. And she... We ended up not going one week, and we used to go every Sunday, like clockwork. <clears throat> and we always went to go get uh, South African food. That was our favorite thing to do on Sundays. And um, she would always, she got really mad at us because we missed one Sunday, and she always made little treats for Frank specifically for when we Aww. came by. We always got the kids stuff. So we had to tell her we were moving. She's like, no. But yeah, I used to take Frank to the farmer's market with us all the time because he would walk on a leash. So we would have Clayton in a stroller in case we'd be walking and I'd have the pig on a leash. So. That's adorable. I'm sure you've seen a lot different, like, you've seen weirder things than San Diego, so, like. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what the weirdest thing I've seen people walk around here is. I've definitely seen a pig before, a little, a little poglet. So that poglet? One's, that one's, yeah, that one's definitely been one of the weirdest ones that I've seen because it's not common here. Um, I've seen somebody, did I watch somebody walking a peacock or was that something I watched in a show? I don't know anymore. It sounds like something I saw in San Francisco. <laughs> I've seen people walking people on all fours. People walking in... people? Yes. Yes. Why, yes. In the gay community, there are people who walk people. San Francisco. <laughs> I used to spend a lot of time up on Haight-Ashbury. And my family Every thinks I'm straight for some reason. Masks, I'm just like, that looks so warm so so warm i just love that my grandma used to take me to hate ashbury all the time and still thinks i'm straight for some reason <laughs> all my family thinks the same thing mm -hmm. totally. all, my work, all my work thinks the same thing but that's because i, I work from home so you know <laughs> yeah i don't know if that's i believe that but <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I'm totally lying. Yeah. My boss was like, "Oh, when you get married to your wife," and I'm like, eh, "Yeah, sure, yeah." Yeah, she is so pretty. Yeah, totally. All right, so what are we doing? Wine. The wizards of wine. All the way to wizards, the wonderful wizards of wine. Following the yellow brick road. Okay, we're there because. <laughs> nice. We've ADHD'd enough. <laughs> Honey, yeah. we're home. You, you come up and you see Davian uh, working outside, to toiling away in the fields. Davian. He says, oh, hello. Hello. We have a gift for you, and I'll reach into my pocket and pull out the acorn and hand it to him. His eyes just get so fucking wide. He, he's like... Where did you find this? It's a long story. Literally. Funny We've, story. We found it in a storybook. It's... Yeah. Magical nonsense. Oh, by the way, we have something from you uh, for you from Danica. And I pull out from the bag holding the... Um, Hold one moment, it. please. Please. He hands the acorn to Asuka. Will you do the honors for me? Sure. What am I doing? Please, buried out in the field, you see these 
um, two other vines that are sort of radiating this golden light and a spot right next to them. Uh, yeah, sure. I just walk over and I find a little spot. I dig a tiny little hole for the acorn, place it in there, pat the dirt. As you do this, um, you instantly see a small sprout form and then it tw um, starts twisting and twirling into vines and the these vines interwrap with the other three and they start growing massively growing 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 into basically a tree Jack and the beanstalk it's kind of it's, it looks like a tree but you see all of these beautiful golden radiant grapes starting to grow from it hey and... look I got a three game thumb <laughs> And, Asuka, as this happens, you see one vine that sort of grows out in front of you, and you see an enormous flower start to blossom. Ooh, pretty. The flower opens up, and you see a shield in front of you. Uh, that is not my understanding of how shields are made. <laughs> this shield is, is this shield is um, sort of entangled with vines and looks like it's made of wood. It's wrapped up within this flower. Okay. Da Davian looks at you and says, "I think the vines have are rewarding you for making them whole again. Please take it." I might just reach up to the shield and kind of like pluck it. <laughs> Tries to pick it up one-handed, it falls down and smacks him in the face, sorry. <laughs> That's kind of what I was expecting it to happen. As you pull it, you see these vines from it sort of wrap around your hand and your arm for a moment, sort of feeling, sort of getting a feel for you, and then they retreat back into the shield. You can add an Ancient Oathbearer's shield to your inventory. So this is a plus one shield. Um, with it, once per long rest, you can cast Entangle. Additionally, once per long rest, you can cause vines to spring forth from the shield and restrain one creature size class or of large size or smaller that you're adjacent to. Wow. Nice. Damn. Yo, I am CC incarnate. <laughs> yeah, you got tree made in one hand and the oak shield in the other. <laughs> That's yep. what I was thinking. It's like, great, now I've got vines of both hands. Super. <laughs> uh, shield of what now? Um, ancient Oathbearer's shield. Is this a um, custom item? Um, it's it should be in the homebrew, yeah. Sweet, found it. So the DC on the um, both of the effects are uh, straight or fifteen. Regardless of what are, whatever yours is, the DC from those particular effects is 15. Okay, I call out to everybody. It's like, guys, I found a shield. Um, well. It's useful for you. Uh, is it for me? I'll, I'll take it if nobody wants it. When I'm have you consumed. seen any of the rest of us use a shield? <laughs> cool. DM says this was a special item for Asuka. Fair. Okay. I just away. didn't. I didn't want to assume. <laughs> like, be like, this is mine. I'll assuming. start using a shield. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Thank you. Well, there we go. Yeah. I, like as soon as he directed you to, I'm like, okay. This, I got my thing. This is how you get your special in game thing. Yeah, I mean, well, I had a jar of mayo, so. There's that. <laughs> I always forget we what have that. You said goblin mayo? Goblin I mayo. I still don't think I understand the concept, but oh, where is, Let her taste it. it. Apparently yeah, she hasn't know. yet. I have I a jar of goblin mayo. That's probably the item that we need to go fraud with. <laughs> He's allergic to mayo. Ah, uh, there we go. That's how we're going to get him. <laughs> he has an egg right. on Specifically, yep. <laughs> goblin mayo. Goblin egg, just not his God. thing. <laughs> Have we ever checked to see if we can make anything else in the delicatessen jar? You can. Try. You can make um, the stuff that's on the table for it. You just have a 50% chance of it making 
Um, double the amount of mayo. Yeah, <laughs> okay, you made a lot of oil. That's right. You did make a ton of oil out of it. Maybe I should you be can... stocking up on that. Yeah, you can totally make other stuff. It just like has a chance to just say "fuck you." I'm making this instead. <laughs> Cool. Well, so what I'm hearing is you wanted mail, right? Because I'm making mail. <laughs> Did y'all just see the cat come zipping through the room and then jump up? Like, you can see her tweaking out. That shadow that's twitching behind me is a cat. <laughs> that is a cat. Well, what is that? Thank you. Oh, Beautiful okay. Beautiful tree vine thing. Oh, yes. You're very welcome. Um... And hey, what, what is it that you wanted to tell me? Oh, sorry. Um, yes, Danica sent us uh, something here. And I just reach into the bag of holding and give, hand him the uh, payment for the wine. He grabs it, opens it up, closes it, throws it back at you. Please, take this as your final reward. Are you sure? Yes, with what you've provided me, we can make our finest selection, our Champagne de la Stompe. And Gross. we can... <laughs> We can sell this for an extraordinarily profitable margin. I'll just shoot okay. Quentin a look behind his back like, see, this is why we don't take from them. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a fat coin purse um, with a thousand gold pieces. Nice. <clears throat> That's a lot of zeros. Mm. Oh, sorry. We'll, uh, we'll distribute this evenly with everybody else. Uh, thank you. I, that's very, very generous of you. No, thank you. This this is wonderful. You've done a, such a such an amazing service for the Mardikovs. Uh, we could never truly repay you for everything you've done for us. Restoring our vitality, restoring our family's lifeblood. We're happy to be of service. Uh, I'm glad that we were able to help you and we were able to find those for you. Bro, that doesn't include me, right? It does. It does? Yeah. It should. It does. I divided it by six. Everybody gets some money. I yeah. didn't know you were giving Quentin any. No, of course. You, you went into the book with us. You, I mean, you may, may have not have been with us throughout the entire thing, but you went in us with us to the book, so you put your life on the line. You should be paid accordingly. Uh, if you don't want it, I'll take it. It's okay. <laughs> so, how are we actually going to divide that up since it's like nowhere near an actual number? We, just, we can just do yourself. silver and copper. Like, okay. Yeah. Six, six silver, seven copper. Mm -hmm. One of you mathy people. Just... 166 gold, six silver, seven copper apiece. I'll trust that number. <laughs> 166 good to gold, me. what else? <laughs> six right. silver, seven copper. Six silver, seven copper? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I'm not ruined anymore. Yay! Yeah. That's, more than, that's more than Payday. I've made in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the life of an adventure. Sometimes it works out. And not often, but... Most often you die. I mean, I'm still alive. I've been doing this for years. I don't know how I'm still alive, but sheer dumb luck. <laughs> Fine, well. Mr. Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> Davian says, "Well, thank you all. I'm going to make sure that we have this um, have our wine production scaled back up to full speed. And if you'll pardon me, I'm going to go take a bath in my money." <laughs> <laughs> we are we heading will. to the Umber Temple. This was just a pit stop for us, so we are glad we, we were able to, to help. to trying that wine. Yes, the the wine should be ready mm, within a few days. Probably by maybe, the time we get back to Danica's. Maybe if we get a process. chance to celebrate. <laughs> if we get a chance to celebrate. Oh, we will. Yes. She oh, says, my. tempting fate. Hey, I might be celebrating your death, but I'll still get to celebrate. Why? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what happened with that cloak? I think it's cursed. I hope you get a splinter. <laughs> what? Your from your you wood? Stub your toe. I hope you stub your toe. <laughs> Let's right, we'll step out? on a D4. Ooh. Ooh. 
<laughs> a metal one. Oh. Oh God. Oh. I do have a set of metal dice up here. My, they aren't that sharp. Though. My metal dice are actually less sharp than my plastic dice. Same. Alrighty. Shall we? We shall. Let's we shall. shall. Should we go? So which way are we going, guys? South. Yeah. Purple. Mm -hmm. North, then south, right? North, then south. Orange. Uh, if we go far enough north, we then go south. We can cut through these woods here if you want, but... With the carriage? It might be slower with the carriage, so let us... Let's just take the road. I'm not, you know, super keen on cutting across the woods, especially here in Barovia. Sure. Yeah, we can just take the, uh, we can take, take the path. The road. Okay. I'll so. stops along the way. Uh, so, up. Um. I moved our carriage over here. He's. Uh, Meets is just marking out the path for us. Uh, yeah. One. One. Yeah. Moved the map too much. And then from there. Moving as we're along. It's going to be about 11 and a half miles total. Mm -hmm. That's nothing. Well, it is still a bit to travel. Do we want um, to come to, say, here, just the other side of the river and the edge of the forest and rest for the night? There's a, there seems to be a, possibly a building here next to the bridge. Maybe we can camp there if there's, if it's safe. Can certainly see. Let me get all my fucking tabs in order. I've got too many. God damn it! I was playing with my D four, my metal D four, and I dropped it. Fate. Self self fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> then I stepped on it. No, nope, I found it. It fell in my blanket. God damn it! Okay, there. I'm putting that away before I actually. Putting that away before I actually do drop it and step on it. Alrighty, so, so it funny. took you roughly half a day to get over to the Wizards of Wine from Velaki. It's going to take you, it would take you about another half a day to reach the pass. Okay, and the pass being here or where's the one? Right here. Here? Okay. Yeah, so. So if you take the, um, if you take the roads, then you'll just find them winding and slowly um, ascending up into the mountains. Um, as you as you make your path through, move your token. As you make your path through, you feel it getting colder and colder and colder, until finally you reach. Finally, you come up to come up here. Uh, it feels uncomfortably cold, almost freezing. And then you come down to the pass of the bridge, and there's a little bit of a break in the temperature, and it's not quite so bad here. So, safe to come here for tonight? Well, if... What do we see? Yeah. Give me, or what? just what do you see as far as right in front of you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, well, give me a perception check, but um, that's a, I think that's just a tree stump. Let me double check. Sometimes it's hard to tell what, what yeah. what's supposed to be on the map here. Um, no, actually, so this will be what you're seeing. You see, you come up to the edge of the Salinka Pass, going up into Mount Gakis. Um, you see a guard tower off to your side in the distance, and we'll move over to that map. Uh, oh boy. Let me just go to the map real quick, make sure everything is correct. Turn off Very dynamic explained. lighting because it fucks up. What? Who? What? You just said seriously, so I was just like, oh. what? 
No, Groot climbed on my box and climbed on the bed, and he's like digging up my blankets right now. No. Seriously. <laughs> Climbing up? Groot. Who's that? Bulldog. One of my English bulldogs. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Yeah, I didn't remember his name. I can't keep I him straight, to... but I know she's got Groot, Rocket, and Artemis. And oh, look at the baby. Yeah. Groot and Rocket are the boys. Groot is a uh, standard English bulldog, and Rocket is a full suit black and tan, and Artemis is a full suit gray, uh, blue brindle. I know Rocket, because Rocket, I swear to God, is part Rottweiler. <laughs> no, he's not. He's a sweet boy. Look at her! See, she's black and tan, too! She's such a sweet face. She's got this little, like, cute marking in the on her chest, like a little white cross. Aww. Oh, I oh, heard I'm that so squeak! Oh, uh, you saw that? The little I ball. heard the squeak! She does that squeak, it's so cute. That's I've never been able to actually- Ah, she's attacking. Beer <laughs> <laughs> chew toy. Oh, oh, look at her. She's such a sweetheart. Oh, look at the belly. Oh. I want one. Aww. A friend of mine actually has baby Roddy's for sale right now. Do not tempt me. <laughs> Can you imagine how pissed my cat would be? My cats would be if I got a Rottweiler. What'd you say, Alaric? How far away are they? From me, like an hour and a half, two hours. So tempted. Go do it. Pro also got a puppy, a little Pyrenees. It's no. so big. Did I say a little? Pyrenees are huge. A little. Yeah. That was the name She's I was looking huge. for earlier. Dre. Mm. Pyrenees. Pyrenees. That was the name I was looking for earlier. Dre Pyrenees. Yeah, they're, they're sweet. He adopted her. No, I've already decided. When I do finally decide to buy a house, after I get it, get settled in, the first thing I'm doing is adopting a pit bull. No. We're gonna call it Squish. No, I'm gonna get a pit bull and I'm gonna name it Kitty. Fucking watch me. <laughs> her little playmate at puppy school is a little pity. It's really cute, even though it tries to bite her face off. Oh, they have such sharp teeth when they're that age. I know. Tiny little razor blades. My, my hand's all fucked up from it. <laughs> yeah. My mother-in-law has a Maligator. A what? Malinois. A Belgian Malinois. She's a Maligator. <laughs> As somebody... These other places are not uh, are just several levels of the tower, right, Boone? Um, yeah, you'll be starting out at the south. Down here. Where Amitza is. Um, I don't see Amitza on the map. I see it. Way very south. south. She's so right there. Yep, he said oh. the map. Found Bix puts himself there and tumbles down the hill to his death. <laughs> just so you I know, guys, each of, those, each of those triangular lines is a hundred feet. Oh, hell what? nah. I don't have flying potions here. <laughs> I do remember, have Pelopal, though. Just remember, if you're falling, turn into a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 500 feet. That's nothing. It goes up to a thousand feet later. Yeesh. But seriously, if Kelly... If you fall off, please turn into something that flies. Yeah. A goldfish. You're level eight. Yeah, goldfish. You're level eight. Don't oh, be a wait. goldfish. We're <laughs> golden god. She's more fish class though. I'm level four and level four. Oh, uh, so you just learned how to swim. Never mind. Don't turn into a goldfish, <laughs> solo. Yeah, I won't. I, I'm not a flying goldfish. I'm not in. We're not in Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm you were not. We're okay. A <clears throat> yeah, gold okay, man. All, All right, right, so what do we see before us? So as you approach, um, you see the shelf of rock on which the mountain road clings uh, grows narrow. To your left, the icy cliffs um, rise sharply toward dark, rolling clouds. To your right, the ground falls away into a sea of fog. Ahead, through the wind and snow, you see a high wall of black stone lined with spikes 
and topped by statues of demonic vultures with horned heads. Set in the center of the wall is an iron port is a closed iron portcullis, behind which burns a curtain of green flame. On the other side of the dark wall, gripping the mountain's edge, is a guard tower of white stone, topped by golden statues of mighty warriors. Interesting. <sighs> we could have taken the Barras path. Oh, it'll be fine. <sighs> Shall we? What time of the day is a boon? Um, it is nighttime. Fuck. Well, we'd best try to, um, find, perhaps how, we could find a way to rest in that guard tower. How big are these squares? Ten feet each. Ten feet? Mm-hmm. I mean, if you um, measure your distance as you walk, it'll represent that. Is there anything that I can see yeah, as I'm getting closer to the gate? Um, I know you said there was a portcullis with a green fire, and um, perhaps we can see if there is a way to um, easier it's through the portcullis, or perhaps we could scale the wall and get over that way. Um, it is uh, 20 feet high, I think, yes? Um, let me see. So, 20 feet. The gatehouse is 30 feet high, the walls are 20 feet high. Right, so if and they're lined with stone spikes. Well, I mean, it is better than a barred gate that we cannot get through green fire, so, so, um, any ideas? I'm just gonna walk up, and can I roll an investigation check on the gate itself? Like, can I get this close and roll an investigation check? Is... Uh, sure. Okay. I'll roll the bright green dice. Let me, do let me double check, because this, yeah, 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 you're good. The... To the left is north, so the orientation of this map is a little odd. All right, so north is this way. Yes. yes. Okay. So I just rolled a nine on investigation. Mm, yeah, that's a closed gate, and on the other side of it, you see some fire. <laughs> Anyone uh, else want to try? I'll cast detect magic. Okay. Um, with detect magic, you definitely. Um, you definitely get a ping of magic from the green, the green flame beyond the gate. What is it? Evocation. Evocation? As in explosions. Yep. Oh, it would have been a 10. Sorry, I forgot. I have the stone of luck. Yeah, same thing, though. Is that the only ping I'm getting? Um, it, it's within 30 feet. Within 30 feet. Yes. Er... Anything else that has magic, where I would see a faint aura, or rather, um, I can sense magic if they're using it. Oh, let me double check here. I think that's everything. Come on, princess. Come on. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> not you, dear. I need to. It's cold. I so mean, I put my... <laughs> I'm almost cutting out of my new robes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I pulled my hand out and I just use I use a detect magic and I'm like, well, it's magical for sure. It's key location magic though. So oh. does anybody know what that does? Because I honestly am not very well versed in that. Our well, wizards have a tendency to die, so no, I don't know what evocation magic is. It's my husband was a wizard, so. Evocation magic is magic that it is used in destructive magics. So we can't pass through here. Ooh. Well, perhaps the wall is simply meant to hurt anyone that would try to go through it. It, you know, it is not an illusion or anything else. I'm thinking that it is simply a permanent fire. Um, is the are the portcullis down? Um, I believe it's like, up. I mean, the bars are up. 
Uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, it's closed. Okay. Um, can I find like a small, medium-sized rock on the floor? Yeah, like I mean, around? this is um, a mountainous area. You could find rocks around. All right, I'll grab that rock and I'll just kind of like underhand fling it over to the fire. I'm standing behind back, of course, and I tell everybody, "Hey, guys, stand back. I'm going to try this." You know, in case it blows up or something, so I move back to uh, right over here and I just like fling it. Um, the rock flies through the flame. It seems unharmed. Well, that was not what I was expecting. How big are these? Is this corpses? Roughly. Um, it's gonna be about thirty feet tall, and the gates are yeah in in the middle. Um middle of the gatehouse is like 30 feet tall and the um, walls to the sides here are about 20 feet tall. I've got a stupid idea. Can I try and lift it? The portcullis? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a strength. Check. Can I assist? Sure. So advantage? Yeah. Yes. It's gonna happen, it's on a 20. If not, then I don't think we're doing it. <laughs> natural or dirty? Dirty. If it was natural, then... Oof. <laughs> yeah, as you do that, Quentin, you hear this ear-piercing screech as the gate lifts. And you lift it up. I mean, Oscar lifted it up. <laughs> this is a team effort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well... Um... We can't hold this forever. Can someone get lit up the fire? Mm. Does the portal stay up, or are we holding it up? You haven't let it go yet. <laughs> well, we still feel the weight, though. It, it would stay open. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, Alright, well, <laughs> Drop, thank okay. you, you very muscular man, you. Um, so... Still the fire. You know what? We haven't tried the most obvious thing to do here. Which is walk through it. Yell hello. That was my idea. I was just gonna say <laughs> I can use thaumaturgy and ask if anyone's around. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to do it in like. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to do it in like in a, a, a angering kind of way. I just want to see if there's anybody nearby. <laughs> You don't hear anything. Okay, well, um, there was that. I, I just wanted to make sure we were being, you know, appropriate about it. Um, Can I try to dash through it? Oh my god, Mita. Yeah, it's for sure. The same thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, so you running? Yeah. Just I raised my fire. shield. All right, Mita. As you, um, as you run through. You uh, feel your body instantly being seared. <laughs> this hurts! <sighs> You're on the other side! Yep. You, you do make it to the other side. Fire damage. <laughs> oh my I'm god. Gonna, I'm gonna book it too. What? Uh, no! <laughs> Alright. I, um, I can't let myself be outdone by Mitsa. 37 fire damage. Jesus Christ, You're not resistant. <sighs> <laughs> nope, not fire. Oh, right! <laughs> Is it just like a wall of flame? Yes! Uh huh. Okay. This is disgusting. <laughs> Can you guys nope. see anything on that the other was... side? And also, that was a stupid idea. Excuse that was me not a bad. minute, I can't see anything. <laughs> Why need this sort of. I'm, I'm gonna second one. Burnt hair. <laughs> okay. I'm casting Prayer of Healing, uh, second slot. 12 HP back. Woo! Ugh. You cast Kirabitsa? Uh, I get to choose up to six creatures I... of your choice that you can see within range. Regain hit us. points. How can I not? There's, There's a wall not a... of flame! It's not a solid wall! Oh. Some walls are opaque. I love you can how see I... through it in the way you can see through fire. You can't see through a wall of fire, though. They're, uh, they obscure vision. The spell, at least. 
What I do? Roll two fours? It's not the spell. That's fair. Uh, whatever. Uh, you guys get healed for eight HP each. What's oh. the range on it? 30 feet. Okay. I'll take it. Well, I would not suggest that, but, and so I'm gonna go over to the side, and I'm going to go, I'm going to throw over a rope. Hold on, or I've got... Can... If I go into my rain, can somebody just chuck it through for me? Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> that ring's gonna take 30-something damage. <laughs> if I go into my magical ring, can somebody just throw me through? And I'll pop out How again. How tall is this fire wall? 50 feet. Yep. Oh, it blocks the entire... Are, are there wizard. any other apertures in any way uh, along this wall? Maybe like a window with bars or something of the sort? I have a sling. I could put the ring in the sling. Get it over if, the wall. If yeah, Rowan, if Rowan Callie would like to do this combination to get Row over the wall, certainly. <laughs> Boone's just like this is fuckery, and I'm here for it. I mean, I do have a sling. <laughs> I throw a rope over the wall. Isn't it? Doesn't it have spikes at the top though? Yes. Sure, but not everywhere. Just don't sit on them. Can you guys see anything that'll deactivate stuff on that side? I'm gonna go look in the tower. Wait for us to go to the tower. Alright, um, what if the do I see any levers or switches or buttons or anything that might disable the fire? Um, um, no, there are not. Well, I don't see anything. I hate this so much. <laughs> you could all just run through it. <laughs> What, Fuck it, Callie! What we are going to is not the same thing. Callie, just slingshot me through. Aim for somebody who can hopefully keep an eye on it and make sure I don't go off the side of the mountain. Oh no. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, 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 oh no! Over. You know I'm over here. <laughs> can I... I see the rope meets a through over? My whole question she, is... She yelled I it over. She yelled it out. Aren't, aren't, aren't you a, uh, uh, like, aren't you fireproof? Fire resistant? You saw what it did it to me, It did hurt, Kelly! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I'll roll a dex check and try and climb the rope that meets a... I mean, yeah. If there's a rope, you don't need, you don't even need a check. You can easily climb the rope. Okay. And then off I go. I'll go over the rope. Alright. I'm gonna go take a look at the rope and... Climb that because why would I take damage? <laughs> one by one. Already? Uh, wait, wait for my turn. I pick you know up that the we have ground. to deactivate this because of the carriage, right? We'll so, just park the yeah. carriage against... here and let the horses die. <laughs> you can run the horses through the carriage. No! <laughs> oh my Whoa, God. that's. You want fucking... horse meat? This is how you get horse meat. Oh! <laughs> You have like a whole what? Alone. Five yeah, these... HP. They're gonna be incinerated. They wouldn't in... make it. They would. No. They wouldn't make it. The cart wouldn't yeah. make it. The, the, both of <laughs> those rolls that I had were just medium level damage. Too. Oh my god. Yeah. They, no, they were do... both a little high. I mean, high high average, but not like crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, like, so, so we're. I'm just gonna wait my turn to get on the rope. I'm gonna like grab a stick and I'm gonna grow some mushrooms and I'm gonna be roasting mushrooms in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> the mushrooms take 37 damage. <laughs> <laughs> they are really well done mushrooms. <laughs> Instantly immolated. <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't feel great. Um, so, I'm, Ro, I'm as you climb up food. to the top of the, um, as you climb the rope and you make it to the top, there are the um, the demonic vulture statues <laughs> oh, turn their heads me. and look at you. <laughs> Help me up! That was not the right answer. <laughs> okay, I am getting down. I am That's not even gonna. Negative. I'm. Oh no! Are they I was attacking? gonna say I'm not <laughs> even gonna. Order them. Oh shit! Try and jump down to meet some. <laughs> okay. Oh I hate no! Everything. Are those fucking? Oh no! Well, the oh, no. I know that creature. Okay, so oh, I am no. actually rolling real dice. No matter what I get, I just did that to get it in. Oh, that doesn't look fun. Are those harpies? <laughs> no, they're, they're worse. 
Okay. Oh, God. Rocks. <laughs> like a rock. So, let me guess. They're going to pick us up and throw us over the edge. Okay, oh, so good. since it came to life while I was up here next to it, does it knock me down? No. Um, it's not making an attack. They just look at you and screech. Do we see this? Oh, we hear this. We hear it. You will hear row very loudly. Oh, shit. This was a bad idea. <laughs> that Fuck bad me. Idea. Four. The Lovely. These rocks um, spring to life if you try to climb over the <laughs> Fuck. wall. Fuck. Running through the wall was the right choice, Mitsa. We, we chose right. <laughs> I should have just had Kelly throw me, but no. Uh, Other people were still trying to climb the wall, so. Yeah, no, okay. I'm still uh, down at the bottom, roasting my freaking mushrooms. Quiet from 10 feet away. <laughs> okay. I don't need to get too close. No. It's a hot fire. It needs to put your dex modifier because you rolled the same as one of the Brocks. Oh, yeah. Oh, Brocks. I can't remember what they do. I have to uh, roll your food. That's better. Just, just, just. Uh, of course I go time. after. I got a 20. Hell yeah. I'm getting a drink. I rolled a 4. I'm last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going so I first. I'm just, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna pop something in here real quick and I'll change it. Oh, what nice. did I get? Did I get something? A, oh, 23. You got a crit. Well, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'll take that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't do anything against flying shits. <laughs> I'm a ground fighter. Perk of being a spellcaster. We have everybody in? Mm-hmm. I think so. I think so, too. Can I One, two, card? three, four, five, six. Um, unless your playing cards are bladed, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so at the top of initiative, it's going to be Callie. All righty. Who I'm going to... Would have heard Rogue yell, oh, fuck, but does not know why. Or, oh, fuck, this is a bad idea. Can we see <laughs> them from where we're at? Yeah, these these are the vulture-like statues that you was that was discussed in the description. Um, so they're um, just here at the top, sort of like as gate guards. Okay, so I'm just gonna look at one and go, ah! and I'm gonna cast Kill Touch. You can't touch it. <laughs> chill. Kill touch, touch is oh, chill touch. Chill nor touch. I heard <laughs> Kill Touch, and I, 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 I was like, yeah. I was like, me too. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit, that sounds overpowered. <laughs> That's what I meant. It's just gonna kill it. It's a chill. Power touch. word kill. Yeah. Alright, so roll me a kill touch. Or, yeah, kill touch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is really great because it's plus eight. Hang on. Okay, so I got 17 plus eight. 17, eight. 20, 25? That hits. Okay, 2d8. Oh, hang on. Where's my d8? Six and three, nine. Necrotic, right? Mm-hmm. Were you attacking the right or the left one? The one right above me, the the right. Okay. Oh, hang on. Nope, that's right. Mm -hmm. All righty. You see your necrotic hand come and try and kill it. Doesn't kill it, but <laughs> does some damage. Kill touch. Would it be acrobatics or athletics for me to fucking swan dive off of this and try and land on <laughs> land in a roll? Acrobatics. Ow! Ow! What about the rope? You can't climb down the rope. She'd have to tie it to something up there. Well, it. I, or is Mitsa holding the rope? How's it? How's this? What? So, I, I was envisioning like Mitsa threw it over and affixed it down on the other side, but. Well, it's still, I, she can't climb down it without it being tied up at the top somehow. That's true, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Or somebody on the other side holding it, so yeah. Yep. <laughs> Didn't have time for that. Nope. Yeah, so <laughs> you said acrobatics for me to jump down so I'm not up here with it? Correct. Okay. Was that, oh, real quick, was that Cal Was that the end of your turn, Callie? Uh, yes. Okay, Hang perfect. On. Ro, give yeah. me your acrobatics check. Okay. Uh... 
Oh, this is gonna hurt. Hang on. Hang on. It's only 20, 30 can, feet. Can I give Callie a bardic inspiration? <laughs> yes. Or you can't give yourself bardic inspiration, but you can give it to others. <laughs> Not Callie, I'm sorry. Ro. <laughs> I'm gonna yes, give you Ro can. bardic inspiration. D4? <laughs> you, have, you have 1d6 of bardic inspiration. D6, okay. <laughs> okay. Make sure you mark it off. Yeah, I did. Okay, so hold on, because that's currently... Hold on, I have to double check what that damn luck stone does because I keep forgetting I have it. It's plus one to all ability checks. Okay, so that makes Maybe that first. eight plus six, 14. 14. Okay, perfect. So, give me one sec. Let me get my dice here. Uh, 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 uh. How do I not have another d6 sitting around? Is it a third? I have one. You want it? Um, oh, it's, it is, um, thanks for calling that, that is 20 from there, so oh. you, so, yeah, you'll take just a tiny bit of damage, um, Ro, as you jump down, you try to be graceful and try to roll, try to fall into a roll, but you just kind of end up, um, you Falling. roll forward and just hit your face on the floor, mm. and you take, um, three bludgeoning damage as you fall. I'm good with that. That was still really, really cushioned. It's only 2d6. It's a, yeah, it's, a, and, and she, because I thought when you rolled, um, if you rolled, because you, you rolled a 14, right? Yeah. So up to, if, with the 14, you ignore one of the d6, correct? Of fall damage? Mm. That's a, that's a you choice. That's a you choice. I thought you ignored a, uh, I thought you, I thought you, that's... If you got 10, you ignore 10 feet of fall damage. This is there completely is. outside the rules as written. This is yeah. just huge DMA. <laughs> like, there's no written rule for ignoring fall damage. Unless well, that's what around. we're going to do. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as as I land next to me, so I'm just going to go gargoyles. <laughs> <laughs> Worse than gargoyles. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to roll to my Party feet and just, that's my turn. Danger All chickens! Right. Let's say you're up. Well, at least they have to come down. I to can't climb the. <laughs> so yeah. I can't climb. If you want anybody else to climb up, you'll have to keep holding the rope to steady it or tie it to something. Um. We don't can actually I try know to if look they're for something to tie it off. We don't... Hostile? Yeah, I was gonna say we don't actually know if they're hostile yet. They just came to life when I came over, but Callie <laughs> did decide to say fuck you to one of them. So. Oh, that's true. Okay. Um, is there anything I that, that I can uh, tie it down with? Um. Let's see. Do you have a pen? Yeah, there. There. <gasps> you know what? I have mage hands. Okay. <laughs> to hold the rope is what Concern. I'm thinking. Well, nope. it's not going to be strong enough. It made <laughs> ten pounds. only hold five pounds. Oh, was shit. Five? I thought that was ten. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, <laughs> unless you weigh two pounds. <laughs> yeah. Ropes, you... ropes weigh ten pounds. <laughs> It'd be half of a rope, but yeah. Mitsa, do you have something to secure the, um, the rope with? I have some uh, pittance that I can, you know, stake down and do if that's acceptable yeah you could stake them into the wall stake them into the ground however you like all right then i'm gonna uh stake it into the wall and uh freaking book it all right it'll take your action to stake it and you can okay. move your move. movement speed and can i use my <laughs> object interaction to try opening the door sure oh you're cunning awesome. does it open the door <laughs> Good question. Let me just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like there's a bar. I'm over here inside. like. I'm over here like. Let's piss off whatever's inside too. Oh God. You op you pull on the door and you feel it. Feel <laughs> it feels like it's locked. Okay. Um. Muscle heads on this side. As a bonus <laughs> action, I'm just gonna take the dodge action. Because I okay. can do that, because I'm a rogue, and that's my turn. <laughs> All right. First, Brock's turn. One on the right. Yeah, fuck you, guy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> We're just split in half. <laughs> Good <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, okay. Just run through the fire, guys. 
Um, <laughs> we can possibly do that too. I'm at something. Alright, this Brock will move. Right here. And oh no! Oh no, fuck me! Oh god! Callie Halo pissed it off. Force. Can is that a reaction? Yes. Okay, well it hasn't done anything yet. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it moved into a space within ten feet of me. Oh, uh, it's oh. a rea Okay. Mm -hmm. Fuck. <laughs> What's happening? I can deal one d four of necrotic damage. It has to get a DC of sixteen. Alright. What? Dex. Oh, okay. I think. A right, con. Sorry. Con. Con? Con or Dex? Con. Con, okay. Alright. Oh, it, that sucked. That was an 8. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, 1d4, <laughs> motherfucker. Okay, roll me a d4. God, that's so underwhelming. <laughs> I like the 4! Nice. I mean, it's free damage, so... Yeah, it's just... I wish that class had better. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Callie, this rock is going to first... Um, look at you and peck at you with its beak. Ugh. Don't do that. That's gonna Don't be a that. crit. 26. Oscar. Oh, no. Wait, oh, yeah, so crit? I'm imposing reaction. Shit! I'm Are imposing reaction. Enough? Um... What's it called? Uh, Sentinel, not Sentinel, sorry. Protection, Thunder. so... Do you want to do it, Oscar, or do you want me, because it's a crit, so I can just make him re-roll completely? You don't see that. You can't you see know. him, bro. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Your corner's the lock. Yeah, I'm imposing disadvantage on the attack roll. <laughs> okay. Uh, I ask again, are you close enough? I'm right next to her. To Callie? Yes. yes. You're, oh, you're underneath the map marker. It was covering you. Oh! <laughs> I'm like, I'm right there! Alright, you're <laughs> underneath, like, the little, um, number and letter that indicates what section this is. Uh, T3? Okay. <laughs> T1, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> the fire's T3. <laughs> Can you see those? Uh, when you roll damage. Oh, okay. Um, so you said disadvantage, right? Yes. Alright, let's see here. Ooh, crit again. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> um, that was that was useful. That was a nine. I've done ah, it. You I've don't hit it. me. You I mean, impossible. Can you not mock it? All right, and next one, dirty <laughs> twenty. Is Fuck it? Me. Um, it attacks. Uh, first tries to peck, and then claws at you with its talons. Dirty oh, twenty shit. for the second hit. Yeah, I got that. All right, so second hit is going to be ten slashing damage. Hmm. Well, that's not. <laughs> Famous last words. Not great. I mean, it's not low great. Roll, low rolls, two and a five. Ooh. On a what? <laughs> we don't know on a what, though. On a very squishy Cali as well, so. Yeah. Hey, at least her AC is over 12, finally. Yeah, I'm sorry. The, re the reason why I was uh, distracted was because I'm, I'm, I was looking at the shield that you gave me, and it's supposed to give me an additional armor class point, so my armor class would technically be 22. Um... But it's not, equipped? yeah. But the shield is equipped, or it was a moment ago. But I think I unequipped it. But anyway, it should um... be a plus one shield. Is it a two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do does it require two? Minute? Double check that. Okay. Because I can't remember. Fuck, 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 fuck. Do you go of to the bottom inventory. of inventory if it shows up? Under oh, the... it shows a tune. I mean, you would have had time to tune time. it. Okay, sure. But that should fix the AC problem. There it is, yeah. So 22. Sorry. That's that's why I was distracted. 22 AC. 22 AC, I know. Beautiful. That's that's what he's been going for, so that's sort of his little something nice he got. I will be your shield. Gets thrown off the edge. <laughs> Alright, second Brock. Is... Let's see here. It's coming here over row, isn't it? <laughs> It is because she activated it. Fuck. Yes, it's on the ground. <laughs> is it though? I don't know. Is it close enough that I can reach it? Who knows? It might oh. be right now, but who knows if it oh. will be at the end of its turn. It's gonna pick Ro up. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
kind of... <laughs> Alright, Ro, this, uh, Brock will first package you with its beat. 13 to hit? Nope. Alright, then slash it with its talons. Ooh, nat one. That doesn't hit. Alright. Fix, you're up. Alright. I'm gonna look at Osco and Tally and ask them, fight or run through? Uh... Fight. Fight! Alright. Let's kill um... the murder chicken! Uh, 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 uh. Wait, how did that work? I'll make it simple because I kind of didn't plan the fight often. <laughs> I was more thinking of running through. All right, I'm gonna use my action to uh, make a Eldritch Cannon. Okay. Which, in what form? Uh, they split up, so I'll take Ballista. Force Ballista, yeah? Yeah. Alright. Let me drag my token for Goldie. And um, how is your um, cannon going to be? Like, does it have legs? What's it doing? It's gonna have legs. Basically, like, the... Uh, I kind of dispelled the magic that is... Uh, the homunculus infusion, but I'm channeling that energy to this cannon, so it's kind of the same feature, but like twice a size. Nice. So, so you see um, a big aquarium, terrarium cannon. Mm -hmm. And for my bonus action, I will use it to fire. Alrighty, um, give me an attack roll. I think it's just a straight spell attack. Plus seven. Come on. Natural 20. Okay. What? So, Come on, 48 roll. plus four. 48 plus four, roll it. I'm not canceling a friendly crit. <laughs> like, I know I'm confused and not paying attention because I just realized I don't know where four of my sets of dice are, but. No, four sets. My Kraken sets of dice. I just realized I haven't four, seen them. 22 force damage. Jesus. Very nice. Nice. Artillerist, uh, that's great. Do you have any people right now for this reason? Do I want to move? Mm, I'll stand by here for now. Alrighty, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick, but um, I'm listening, but Asuka, you can say what you're gonna do. I will hear you, but I gotta pee. Um, is the creature on the floor? On the ground? Of course, yeah. you, of course you can't answer because you're gone. <laughs> I think it's within reach. Oh my god. I feel like, I feel like I've been Unless manifesting it. that natural 20 for like, a long time. Unless it has <laughs> a foot reach on its attacks, it has to be within five. Uh, both of you other DMs, how big is this creature? Large, not extra large, not, not ginormous. Huge. All right, time to test out the shield. Are you gonna try and entangle? Sure, not entangle actually. I'm using the uh, the additional effect on it. Oh. I'm be wary of because it's still an airborne and entangle doesn't work. No, this is actually something that'll cause vines to spring forth from my shield and restrain one character, Ooh. one creature, size large or smaller that you are adjacent to. And it's a DC strength 15, so I feel like that's a little more useful. It'll it'll be restrained for one minute, so I, I want it to not fly. Yeah, it'll it'll be on the ground if you do that. If it if it succeeds, if it doesn't succeed rather. Yeah. What's right, the name so... of your shield? Uh, it's called the Ancient Oath Bearer Shield, which is ironic because I my oath is conquest. You still have an oath. Technically, you're right. Yeah. You're not an oath of the ancient, though, which I guess is your point. Yeah. Um, boom. So, oh, making, making vines come from the shield? Yeah. So just smack the shield with a sword and just, you know, pull it out so that it can, um, 
do its thing. Alrighty. Strength save 15. Yes, sir. 11. Nice. So it is restrained for one minute. It can repeat the save on it. Is it at the it beginning can. or end of its turn? On the creature's turn, they can spend an action to attempt an athletics mm -hmm. check opposed by the wielder's athletics to break free. So it's against mine. Nice. And my, my athletics is plus five. Very nice, very nice. Um, and that is an action for me. I'm... <sighs> I'm trying to think. Um, I'm, I'm guessing you're gonna have to stay and hold, like, hold on to it. You probably have a free hand, but I'm yeah, thinking... I can probably whack it with like my, my other hand and cast spells and stuff. But this yeah. doesn't seem to be a concentration thing or anything. It's just oh, yeah, not it's not it a does... spell. So maybe it, maybe the vines get cut off of the shield and once it's entangled or something, so that it allows me to move. But if it's trying to break a restraint against your against your save, it would make sense that you're there holding on to it. You're right. I will acquiesce to whatever, you, however you want to flavor this. I just found that under homebrew items. I didn't think too deeply about it. Fair. Um, so I'm basically holding it down with my shield. It's entangled, or not entangled, it's uh, restrained. And um, what did we, where did we land on uh, spiritual weapon being a, it's an action, right? It's, no, bonus it's a bonus action. action, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and cast spiritual weapon as my bonus action. All right, 23 does hit for eight force damage. Um, oh, you're right. See if you so, can get a crit. Yeah. No, no crit. The no first one was better. So it takes eight force damage. Yes. What is Cali that's your so my spiritual weapon is a shield. So I'm holding it down with one shield and the other shield whacking it. It's great. Field of light, just like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> I watched it. And <laughs> that's my turn because I can't do anything else. All right, Quentin, you're up. <laughs> Seeing what Asuka did with the other one, I <laughs> grabbed rope out of my bag and I just run after all over to this one trying to grapple. Alrighty, give me, I guess, an athletics check to try and grapple. No, you give me an unarmed strike first. What? Is it, I'm trying to think. A, a grapple is athletics. Athletics, okay, okay. Or, yeah, and you can test with acrobatics or athletics. Okay. I'm going to switch to my real dice because these digital dice are failing me. Oh no, how awful. Like, we're okay with that. Yeah, seriously. Oh, uh, much I'm going to go much refresh. Better. I'm going to go. Re oh god. I'm going to go refresh my drink while you guys do this turn. 21. 21? Well. Uh, I'm going to try again. <laughs> Is that an action to do that? If you have multi attack, you can grapple to it. Attempt to grapple to it. Okay. 23. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. This guy's not bad at these things. That's fair, but I'm good too. <laughs> if this doesn't work, next turn I'm raging. <laughs> Come on, D20. Ha ha! Beats it, beats it. Okay. Um, then bonus action. All right, cool. Should done that. The friend that came and helped me with my couch apparently didn't think to check the rattling box that they threw in the trash can to see if it was something important. Food, I'm gonna action search. <laughs> isn't isn't that a bonus action? No, it's a free action. Okay. No action required for action search. Okay. We're doing this again, boy! I'm grappling this motherfucker! And I'm raging this time, so I have advantage on strength checks. You may get it this time. Oh fuck! 
Maybe oh, not. not with that. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I not too. with that. <laughs> nope. One more time. Ah! Ah! Twenty-three again. That was. I had to hit a max roll for the twenty-three, so it's probably not going to save this time. Ah! Yeah, nope, didn't save this time. <laughs> I After grab four times. Let's go. <laughs> four times. Four times. Four yep. Times. Right. <laughs> I'm just holding on tight with the rope in my hand, staring at it in beady eyes. All That's right. <laughs> Cool. You got a grapple. <laughs> Finally. Cal <laughs> Callie, you're up. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. All right. And I, I want to cast Bane on this one in front of me. He's okay. Um, already... What's the save? Uh, DC 13. He has disadvantage, right? <laughs> um, that's it's advantage on attacks. I have okay. the. Spell effects get advantage when they're restrained too. No, just attack, just melee attacks, or physical attacks, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, was it charisma? Yes, charisma. Okay. Um, Fail it. You said it was a DC twelve. DC thirteen. Thirteen. Oh yeah, he got a seven. <laughs> he has bait. All right, nice. You'll have to remind me because I will probably forget, but Just put there a, we go. Okay, I was going to say, you put a mark on it, right? I might still forget, so. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. <laughs> you must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or saving throw. Mm -hmm. The batter is supposed to be. Anything else on your turn, Kelly? And now let's see. Is there a bonus? Um, I have two weapon fighting. What does that mean? That means I can smack him with something? Everybody. I think pretty much everybody has that. That just means you can attack with two weapons. One in your main hand, one in your off hand. Okay, but if I cast a spell, action. what does that mean? Leave. You have to but you've already used your action, mm -hmm. so that wouldn't come into play for this. Can you because... hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, now we can. Shake your head or no? I can hear you. Can yes. you hear us? I can't hear you guys, that's why. Also, she found out how to jump over the gate, and I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> yep! Uh, welcome to puppyhood. Congratulations, you are prepared. I'm over here drink, drinking my drink. Sorry. Can you hear us? I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah, welcome to having a small dog. Yeah, holy shit. I'm making my drink and all of a sudden I look down and she's there and I'm like, how the fuck? Hi, Dad! Where's my yeah. dad, Dad? Mm-hmm. That's what she just wanted to know. Where's her drink? She's gonna need one to put up with her at this rate. Uh, this, is a, this is bad that she knows how to do that now. Yeah, <laughs> gotta keep your door closed. All right, um, Callie, anything else? Um, that's it. All right, Ro, you're up. Okay, so this fucker is pinned down in front of me, right? Yeah, he's just um, grappled. He's holding on to him. <laughs> he will be. <laughs> I'll tie, tie this motherfucker up. <laughs> Let me see. Filter. That's right, range isn't a filter. <laughs> is it not? Can he get an attack of opportunity if I back away from him then? He still could. He, er, Yeah, grapple doesn't take their actions, I don't think. No. No. Okay, then The I... speed is just zero. Okay, so I'm not going to risk it because it already tried to hit me once. And hit twice and failed. So I am going to go ahead and roll to attack with my whatever flavor of axe I have today. All right, roll to hit with furniture axe. <laughs> yeah, that's a plus six to hit. That is a sixteen. All right, sixteen does hit. Oh, oh okay. Uh, so one d six plus two. Uh, seven. Okay, so you swing your axe, and all of a sudden it's um a desk, and you smack this rock <laughs> upside the head with the desk. How much damage is that? 
Seven. Seven, okay. I was about to put his health to seven. No, that's not correct. <laughs> yes, do that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, Welcome I did to that. The with Thunderdome damage. smacks with a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else on your turn, Ro? No, don't start doing that already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mitsa, you're up. I'm gonna. So, was I able to tell that the door is locked? Yes, the door um, was. It will not open. So. Okay. Then I'm going to try and pick the lock. So let me rephrase. Um, the door will not open. Um, there is no lock. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not so much a lock that it's just barred shut. You shall not pass. Oh, it's barred shut. From the inside. Correct. Bar on the map. <laughs> the door. Break it down, Mitsa. <laughs> Got a one up quitting. Can I try and rip some of the boards off? Yeah, give me um, a strength check. Athletics. <laughs> really obsessed with this tower, huh? I. It's a mission at this point. Escape. <sighs> Fuck. Nine. Oh. You pull on the uh, planks of the door and you're like, mm -hmm. but it just, it doesn't, it's not happening for you right now. All right. You got this, Rita. I'm just going to jump off the cliff with this frog in my hand. All right, that's that's all I got. Alrighty, up next on Bottom Brock's turn. It's that squawk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this bard was was it restrained? It's restrained. Oh. Restrained and veined. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. What will this Brock do? Alright, being that this Brock is cornered, it is going to lift its beak up and screech at wow. the top of its lungs. <laughs> no! All three of you need to get, all four of you, including oh no, the, little the piss, oh my. need Wait, to give me. Wouldn't the restrain technically, like, restrain its beak as well? It's a vine wrapping all the way over its body. If it can, it can open its mouth. It's not silenced. Damn it. <laughs> okay. That was just for flavor. If you want to be Damn that it. way, it's not silenced. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Okay. There's a spell for that. <laughs> I need all of you to give me a Constitution saving throw. Is that all an attack, by the way? Everyone. It. Um, just the, those four. Those four down here. It's not an attack. My okay. cannon too. It's the it, fourth one. It's an ability, not an attack. You said a straight con. Straight con. Con save. Con save? Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck oh. no. <laughs> I, I got oh, a, shit. I, I got, got a 17. 19. Um, and then my... The cannon got a 18. Damn. What'd you get, Asuka? I got a 6. Ooh. I don't think oh, I Oh, yeah, I know. It's really... That's really bad. Asuka, as this happens, um, you... The screech from this rock pierces into your brain and you're stunned. Hang on. Oh, no. Fuck. He has Bane, though. He has to do a D4 okay. and subtract the number no. rolled, right? He, oh, he's no. not... It's it's not a spell like that. Okay. Um, it's just a straight ability. Um, he's not making the roll. He's forcing others to make the roll. If they had Bless, it would help them. Yeah. Okay. Womp womp. So you are that stunned until the end of this Brock's next <laughs> turn. I um, stunned you all. Oof. Oof. Uh, you're you're in, that makes you incapa incapacitated. What do we think? Would that keep? Would he Oscar be able to hold the vines? Is there a wonder? Well, I mean, the vines kind of have a mind of their own once they come to life. Mm -hmm. It's your item, isn't it? 
If they no. require concentration? No, it's not. I, I just ripped it from homebrew on D&D &D Beyond. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's your call. Mm. I mean, if you require that it's your call. concentration, yeah. then yeah. It's not, con it's not concentration, no. It's a straight ability, so... Okay, so, um... But I have to... So, it has to use an action to break free, and you will not be able to contest it next turn, so... He can't make the action now, but he will stay here looking a little bit pleased with himself and end his turn. Frock okay. up here, D gonna do the same thing. Screech! Fuck. I need... I need a con save from Ro and from Quentin. Oh, fuck me. Yes. <laughs> nice. You going anywhere, bud? Oh no, Ro. <laughs> I rolled a nat one. Oh, oh no. Yeah, you're stunned. <laughs> it's, it's okay. He's focused on me. Hopefully. Well, I mean, that uses its action to do that, so... Oh, it's even better. Yeah, but I stun till the end of its next turn. Yeah, you're... You don't get your next one. Alright, uh, that'll be that Brock's turn. Fix, you're up. Um... So the portcullis was open, right? Yes. So I can go through, like, over here, he would say? Um... Yes, and receive an attack of opportunity. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it. All right. Very hard to hit. <laughs> it's a disadvantage with Bane, so. Let's see what happens. Good still hit. You're lucky. Okay, disadvantage. Let's see here. Nope, that's not going to hit. <laughs> cool. And for my action, I'm going to touch the back of Asuka, and I will use my... Which one is which? My healing touch, Lesser Restoration. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Nice. You like it, Ritter? Oh, wait. I, I'm, I'm just reading this now. <coughs> it says, uh... Is he stunned? He's yeah. stunned. That's it. Says paralyzed. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, then okay. I well, wouldn't be it, doing that. A valiant effort was made, and I appreciate it. Uh, I guess ideally, now that I'm not in melee range, it's time to pop pop. All right. Um, we're going all in. So, I'm gonna cast a second level scorching ray. All right, roll be your three separate attacks. And it's restrained, so I have advantage. Yep. So it's three spell attacks. Uh, 18. Hits. <laughs> 13. Misses. 22. Hits. All right. So that get to two of your scorching rays will strike. Four d six, and then let me read it again. Which one was it? Yeah, the eight too. Arc yes, the arcane firearm gives me the eight. Four d six, one d eight. I believe you guys on that. When it's Saturday. <laughs> this is Saturday. I have a session. Oh god, that's a lot. <laughs> that's what I gathered when you said last time. He's like, I came back from my other session. I'm like, what? 18 points of uh, fire damage. Alright, the attacks do hit, uh, but it seems to do less damage than oh, you would expect. No! I'm at peace with it. And what type of damage was that? Fire. fire. Uh, and uh, bonus action, my uh, mana will fire. <laughs> Alright, roll me a spell Not attack. <laughs> Yikes. God damn it, I can't get Ooh, get um, I think that's a 16. That hits. Okay, cool. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh What was it again? There's a cat Please. in a chair. Two days. Oh, Sheba. No. 
She has seen the mirrors. <laughs> uh, 17 force damage. All right, that hits with full force. Cool. That would be my turn. Alrighty, Asuka, you're up and stunned. You can't do anything. <laughs> and, uh, so, your turn. I can't even. I can't even bonus no. action with my, no. my spiritual weapon. You're, you okay. have. Yeah. You, when you're stunned, you're incapacitated, which you can't take any actions. Ripperoni. Okay. Does that much... does that wear off to after this my turn or after the at the end of the Brock's next? Turn. <laughs> so he gets an attack set on you. Uh, that's the advantage. That's nasty. Okay. 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 Yeah. The, yeah. The Brock or stunned is a really fucking nasty thing. That's why it yeah. doesn't last for very long, typically. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right, Boone. I want to use this rope. Tie up oh, the thing's wings. Ignore that. I just wanted right. to cast. Give me a. I guess Who's a strength. Breathing check. into their mic. Probably me. Yeah, give me a strength check to see if you can tie him up. He'll contest. I it. have advantage because I'm raging. It doesn't help. <laughs> right, he's gonna try and flail his body around to prevent it. All right. Um, he rolled eighteen, twenty-one. So he still, you still got him grappled, but he's not rest, not restrained. That's probably an action. Yeah. Sorry, cast. All right, Callie, you're up. Okay, let's see what I can do to this person. This thing, this danger chicken. It is danger chicken, danger vulture chicken. I'm going to. I'm going to primal savagery him. Already roll the attack. Yeah. Nineteen plus eight, twenty-seven. Yeah, that hits. Uh, nine and a six, so fifteen. Nice. Right, Callie gets claws and fangs and such, and just lays into this Brock a bit more. Alrighty, Ro, it's your turn. That's your turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mitsa, you're up. Fuck. It's fine, fine. God damn We're it. fine. <laughs> it hasn't. Speak hit for you. yourself, fucker. <laughs> it hasn't hit you, bro. Okay. Um, twenty and natural twenty. Yeah, that's it. I said cat. Twenty nine magical piercing. Alrighty. 29. Alright. It does take the full brunt of the damage. Alright, and I back up again. <laughs> Close enough for the That's my turn. Alright. So, this Brock down here at the bottom, um, to get to break free from the vines, it was a strength check. Because yeah. it was restrained, did I have advantage? It's not restrained yet. 
okay. It's grappled. It's grappled. Not restrained. I didn't, I didn't get it to tie it up. Okay. So Asuka, that was a it was strength to get out of the sh strength shield yes. vines. Okay, and fifteen plus, I think. I just pulled it up. Yeah, you spend an action to attempt an athletics check opposed by the wielder's athletics, but you can't oppose it, so. Oh. Is it technically opposing the vines? <laughs> it, it's, just, it's, the ba it's just the base DC. You don't get a say in it. Fair. Okay, um, he rolled a 13 plus 3 is 16. He's free. Mm. Try not to sound so happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's still baned. Wait, is the bane? That's not. Is it a saving throw? Doesn't a bane reduce it by a d4? Yep. Oh, it does. You're right. I, I told you to remind me. I knew I'd forget. <laughs> okay. I. Is it Callie that rolls that, or is it me? You. You. Because I, I rolled a one, so it still it still passes. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, damn. It's, it's a 15 with the one. Okay. Rock will fly on top of this. <laughs> Coward! Right. Alright, and that's Rock's turn. Alright, other Rock's turn. He's gonna try to... <laughs> Is he gonna run away too? Um... <laughs> I mean, anybody can fail a save. Yeah, I know. I failed plenty. <laughs> well, what? Oh, didn't mean to move it. Okay, um... This one... will attack Row. It's, grappled can still attack, right? Yeah. Yeah, it just can't move. All right, so it's going to beak at Row with advantage because she's stunned. <laughs> 24 to hit. Hits. And I can't even use my reaction on it. Fuck. <laughs> it's going to be for 10 piercing damage, and it's going to claw. 24 to hit. Yeah. Ooh, six damage. That was near a near min roll. I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. Um, and that's Rock's turn. Fix, you're up. And they're both unstunned now. Yes. Yes. Just flew away. Yep. On top of, back on top of his perch. Is he gonna stay there? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> Only time will tell. I don't trust it. I'm gonna keep hitting it. <laughs> it comes back down with a fury and vengeance. I'm gonna move uh, on the other side and aim up and firebolt. Oh, rolled it. My bad. Almost, not quite. Twenty-five. That hits. Two d ten plus four. Wait, two d ten and a d eight. Twenty-one fire. Right. Very nice. Um, it does hit. But it seems to do less damage than you would expect. Again, yeah. Eldritch Cannon. Okay. Uh, low, eleven. That misses. Um, I think they have the cannon move like two spots right here. Okay. Cool. And that's my turn. All right, Oscar. I am now able to. Do the things right. Yes, you are no longer. You are, 
Yeah, you can do everything as normal. We can't. We still can't see anybody, right? Like anybody. I can't see anybody on the other side except for maybe Mitsa. Yeah, definitely not the other two. Mitsa, maybe. What at me, huh? Can she? Okay. Can he see you? Possibly a shadow behind the fire. It would not be a clear image for sure. Yeah. I'm going to since I can't see I can I can see the one up top right but I can't see the other one so I'm gonna go ahead and cast uh, uh, bless at a second level um, okay. so that I can get four people so I'm gonna get go ahead and hit pizza myself Callie and fit fix righty what are we doing getting blessed I blessed all of us I'm blessed I am blessed my spiritual weapon is still up, correct? Yes. Great. It can move can 20 I feet, my I think. Spirit... Huh? I think it can move 20 feet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can it reach the Vodoroiga, or Brock? Does it fly? Why would it not? It's a shield that's floating. I didn't know if they could actually fly up. Yeah, yeah. spiritual weapons can move vertically okay. through space. Yep. Then where is your spiritual weapon currently? Where what? Where was it starting? It was probably right on top of Cali, like right near Cali. Can I can I get a tiny token of myself? Drag yourself back out, and I'll make it tiny. Tiny. Miniaturize me, please. I need so much super glue. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Oops. Uh, right on top of Cali, it's kind of like over here. -ish. Uh, anywho, um, can it reach the rock? Yeah, it, it would be able to reach. Cool. I command it to go and smack it. All right. Get your ass down here. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Uh, unfortunately, uh, our team does not hit. With swing and a miss. All right. Well, that's well it cool. is Bane, so um, I think. Ooh. No, that... it doesn't. No, wait. You're blessed. No. You're blessed. I am blessed. I forgot. <laughs> Suck it, rock. Uh, what, You're gonna roll a one. <laughs> All that time. Hey, shut up! Don't say <laughs> that. Mean... Don't put that energy out there. Hang on, it's a D4. Yeah. Yep. It can happen. Ooh, the, the pokey one got it. Oh, here it goes. Oh shit! I dropped it. Hang on. It's a four. Nice. That hits. Damn. <laughs> Bless. Or nine. All right. Very, very nice. It hits. One more piece of super glue. So fucking close. Your camera hasn't been on all day. I just realized that. Yeah, it sounds like it. But we miss your mug. I'll plug it in once I'm done with this. How will my friends lust over you? What? They don't remember my friend came over that one time. He's like, ooh, he's hot. I'm just like, okay. Me? Here we go. Yeah, you. All right. I don't believe it. <laughs> Inside check. I have no reason to lie. Um, in any case, that's literally all I can do on my turn. So, that is my turn. Thank you for your thoughts. All right, Quentin, you're up. I'm going to try again. All right. Tie this mofo up. All right, give me your strength check. Can't resist forever. With, oh god. With those, he probably can. <laughs> Let's see. You know what? That's gonna be enough. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. Fuck yes. <laughs> the worst rolls, and then it's enough. Like. <laughs> oh, you're going that next turn, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's tied up. He's restrained. I'm just holding on and waiting. That's my turn. <laughs> Push him over the fucking edge. Can't fly if you're restrained. I'm gonna lose my rope, which is unfortunate, but it's worth it for this. <laughs> That's my All... turn. <laughs> Alrighty, Callie, you're up. Okay, who's up? Um, asshole had to jump back up there. <laughs> I mean, you can also use ranged attacks. 
Also a choice. I don't have those. <laughs> Couple of those, but I Let's see. Ooh. I can ice stagger him. Cool. Ice knife, excuse me, ice knife. Oh, that's not Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Scale better. Yeah, same, but it's not too bad. It's sixty feet. He's within sixty feet, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna ice knife him. All right, roll me the hit. Oh, I just yawned and my eyes are watery. Hang on. <laughs> Can't see. Yeah. You're blinded. <laughs> We're watching the puppy, right? Eight. Hang on. You know, if I need to make it twice. 21 to hit. It hits. Kelly, how do you want to do this? Oh, damn. Ooh. I Ooh. am going to tell him. Fuck you! Save your chicken! <laughs> and for nine damage. <laughs> right, it does less damage than you would expect, but wow. that's enough. It had one HP. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Boop. That's why he ran away. <laughs> he said, "Fuck you, danger chicken!" <laughs> and I, I sniped him to death. <laughs> Noise. He, the Brock, is consumed with cold and tries to resist it. And when the Brock moves its arm, the arm just falls off and kind of just falls apart yeah. into frost. Uh, you miss the opportunity to do the whole freezing it and then snapping your fingers and it just shatters, Shiva-wise. That's okay. I said, fuck you, danger chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Callie, anything else on your turn? Um, that... That's it. I'm, oh, I can move forward, yeah. I can move forward. Move through the Ooh. fire. <laughs> oh, shit, I can't. <laughs> yeah, let's the move over to the rope. Poor druid. <laughs> if she had a vulnerability to fire, I wouldn't even question it. <laughs> She's made of mushrooms. Yeah. It's only fair, I think. Spores. She walks through the fire, and you get a delightful aroma of roasted mushrooms. <laughs> nice umami flavor. She goes, ouch! <laughs> <laughs> No, she's not walking through the fire. She's gonna she's gonna walk over to the rope. Where's the rope at? Somewhere um I there. yeah, I think right around here. So it would take most of your movement to get there and next turn you could climb it. I mean you yeah. you could maybe climb like five feet up because it takes it's half move. Unless you've got a climbing speed, it's half movement to get up it. Yeah. I don't think I have a climbing speed. <laughs> most people don't. That makes sense. Well, yeah, but like I said, most people. I'm a most people. Turn into a squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Turn into a space bear and just fly over it. <laughs> I don't think that's a cannon form. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's, it's our cannon. Dang it. <laughs> Is our cannon comrade. Fix, Fix just waves it around like, yeah, it's our cannon. <laughs> <laughs> that Russia did not age well. <laughs> Russia did not age well. <laughs> Ouch. All right, is that it, Kelly? That's it. All right, Ro, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna hit this fucker in front of me with my axe because I don't feel like trying to get far enough away to throw a spell at it. Fair. Uh, actually, hold on. Got it, fuck you, it is. I was actually, I'm gonna do get, uh, vampiric touch. That is a touch, right? Yes. Alpha back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you have advantage on it because it's. Yeah. Right? Grappled is advantage, right? Or restrained, rather, is advantage. If he's considered restrained, yes, it's advantage. 
Yeah, you, you did all that hard work. He's restrained. I just wanted to get rid of its fly speed if I let go. <laughs> that was what I was doing. Uh, 22. That hits. Okay, for... How many damage? How many dice? 3d6? Yeah. 3d6. Uh, four... That is seriously the lowest I could have rolled. I got six, no. uh, six damage. Ooh. All right. Ooh. And so I get, get half it. that back as health, so I get three hit points back. But It takes the full brunt of your damage. And that, that is means. necrotic, so yeah. Yes. Cool. All right, anything else? Uh, nope. It so does have the hand gripped onto it, so I can do it again next time, too. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you're that not chasing not here. dice around my table anymore. <laughs> 31 magical piercing damage. Ooh. And that is my turn. All right, Brock's turn. All right, it's restrained, so. Wait, Restra it is restrained? Yes, we just said that. He's like, wait, I need to roll advantage. <laughs> okay, so those were very, very bad. They were not crits. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, it still has actions, right? Yeah, it just has disadvantage on attacks if it takes them. All right, so it's you're going to see this rock do something that reminds you of Cali. It's going to have these small mushrooms pop up around its body, and spores explode forth. Everybody within 15 feet, I need a con save, please. Oh no, you didn't, fucker. <laughs> con again. That's what it does. Fuck. <laughs> Bro, uh, is that a good face? I don't know. I'm trying to do math. Uh -oh. <laughs> Nine plus two is eleven. Plus another one is Four twelve. Twelve. <laughs> All right. So, Quentin and Ro, you fail. All right. Um poisoned? Yep, you're you're poisoned. Shake. And you're going to take let's see here. You're both gonna take nine poison damage. Okay. At the start of each of your turns that damage will repeat. Oh. Do we get a save at the end of ours? Um, at the end of your turn. Okay, so we'll take the damage once more. At least. All right, and that'll be Rock's turn. Mm. I, I forgot they could do that. Fix, can your thing carry you? Can my thing carry me? I don't think so. <laughs> you could run through the fire. <laughs> my, oh my I god! More people to do that. You know. <laughs> That's what I've been contemplating the whole time. <laughs> so much damage, dude. <laughs> and you know what? I'm committed. Oh, We're going to get through all of this and realize there was such an easy way to do this. Just I'm watch. I'm so mad after. There's a rope. But first, there's a rope. But Callie's climbing it. He is. Currently. <laughs> yeah. So you'd have I to wait behind her for sure, yeah. And I'm either going to... I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but first, I'm gonna use a spell slot to recast Eldritch Cannon. Okay. So I'm gonna make it to a tiny one, so it's handheld. And it's gonna be a protector. Nice. And for my bonus action, I will activate it for, uh, me and Asta will get 1d8 plus four temporary hit points. Ooh. That spell. Roll it. G do you roll it? 
I do. Uh, yeah, he seven will. plus four, eleven temporary hit points for the two of us. Uh, busted ability. And yeah, then, that was really good. And then I'm gonna go towards meet the side. Sure, bold. Are you running through? Yep. All you right, run through. Bold. Thirty-four Ugh. fire damage. Thirty-four minus eleven is twenty-three. Okay. Well, just put the 34 in, and it'll, uh, as long as you have the temp HP, it'll automatically deduct it properly. Gotcha. Yeah. It'll take from temp to 4. Question. Does temp HP stack? No. No. Ah. So if you, if you already had it from another source, um, if you have more temp HP from the new source, it'll just go up to that amount, not add it uh, on. Ah, okay. Oh. Uh, that's what I was, my, I was gonna cast armor of Agathus on myself and then run through. No. And then my my cannon has six HP. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it has enough to survive that. Holy yep. shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Wow. Um, it's basically a conjured magical creature. Um, that's my action, my bonus action. I think that's it. But I'm on the other side. Maybe I can help. You are on the other side. All right, Oscar, you're up. Look at her. She's broken. Aww. She's, she's broken. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she's like writhing on the floor. Um, okay, cool. So I have uh, all these uh, temporary uh, HP points. So, uh, Cowabunga it is. I'm going to run through. <laughs> roll max. Roll it. max. 60 damage. 60 no, damage. Do that. 30. Oh, okay. that's the lowest. <laughs> yeah, that's average right there, I guess. 33, I think, is average. All right. I wa I run through, and I'm like, ah. And uh, how much use movement did I use? 5, 10, 15, 20? Um, Each square is uh, 10. Shove it. Huh? Shove it. Oh, I'm going to be I'm gonna be awful and say uh, blessed concentration. Oh, yeah. That, that is true. <laughs> Ooh, what, that's what's, your, what's your con save? Oscar has to make 15. I have to make a con I have to make a con constitution saving throw for yeah, blessed concentration. Yeah, when you have a con concentration spell up. Ooh. No, bless fades. Uh, oh wait, uh, what's the equation of that? It's half or ten. Yeah, so minute if higher. Yeah, so half the damage. So it did thirty damage. So he would have had to make a fifteen or greater. Was it total or would the temporary age? Age. HP buff that two. lower. Or is it the full 30? It's when you take damage. Um, okay. It's basically you're trying, you've got a spell, you're chanting, you're doing the hand things, and you're trying to make sure you can keep doing that in the face of getting your face fucking smacked. Would plus okay. count for that save? <laughs> I would say yes. It won't save him from no, what he rolled, but. It won't. I would say yeah, because it has a. If he faded. rolled max, he, he, I can help. Can. That's a one. No. Nope. <laughs> I have flash of genius. I could have bumped him up to fifteen, and it would have saved. That's you. awesome. That's not happening. <laughs> All right, bless is gone. Sorry, guys. I suck at that. I'd like. Um. So I run through. What do I see, Boone? Is anybody particularly damaged? Or what's going on? Um. <laughs> yeah, you see those. You see both Roe and Quentin are. Poisoned. Um, I don't know. Well, I don't know that you'd necessarily see that, but they are. Yeah. <laughs> are either one of them particularly damaged right now? You bloodied. I'm uh, only down twenty-five. I'm not bloodied. I'm not half yet. I'm close, but I'm not there. Yeah, I'm not. So half no, not yet. really. I'm uh, annoyed. But I can, tell, but... uh, can I tell that they're poisoned? I would say it would take a medicine check to be able to tell something like that because there, it doesn't have like physically out or outwardly like visible signs we don't have green bubbles yeah. From us. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly that's what i was thinking i was like i can't i don't think i can really tell so uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rush this um no actually uh did i, I have shoulder check the fucker send him flying <laughs> no uh i'm gonna cast uh what's it called command it's already tied up yeah, oh, is it? Oh, never mind. Up. <laughs> never mind. I mean, uh, you could, yeah. but I feel never like mind. that would be a bit of a waste in this case. It's fine. Shove em, it's shove em, shove em. fine. So yeah, I'm gonna fucking just 
run at run at it, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, swing my sword at it. Okay, give me a sword swing. And I and use. Pull. <laughs> Command I'm can't use... demand them to do things that would hurt them. <laughs> Wait, does does it break the whatever the hold if I hit it? No, just don't hit the oh. ropes. You can <laughs> aim where you swing, yeah. That's a big I creature. surgically strike with my sword. <laughs> I tied up its wings specifically. Okay. Is what I was trying to tie up. Um, so I'm gonna roll uh, d20 for see if it attacks. That's 20, or I'm sorry, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can math, 18, click, clack, math rocks. Yes, that hits. Okay, um, and I am using a Divine Smite. Is that what I have? I think so, yeah. That is a thing Paladins have. It's, it's, it's been a while since I've used it, sorry. Other, Channel Divinity, Guided Strike, Divine Smite. When you hit with a melee, you can expend one spell slot to, to deal 2d8 extra radiant damage to the target plus 1d8. For each spell level higher than the first, max 5d8 plus, and 1 plus d8. What? You could use Is a higher a... level d8, basic, or you can use a higher level spell slot. If you use level 1, it's the 2d8. You add a d8 for every spell slot level above level 1. Fuck and it, let's do and that. And you add a d8 if it's undead or fiend. Is it an undead or a fiend? Yes. Sweet. Okay, so I'm doing that. So what do I roll first? Your um, weapon damage and then your d8s uh, according to whatever spell level you choose to expend. I'm using a second level. So that would be 3d8 plus the 1d8 for the... So fiend. 5 slashing and then... 4d8. 4d8? Yes. Yeah, you said second level. That's one, two D eight, and then here's another two D eight. Nice, twenty two. And I'm expending that spell slot. That's my last second level. Is your weapon a magical weapon? It is uh, the, just my basic ass long sword. All right, so the sword slash does less damage than you would expect, but the radiant damage does the whole. Cool party. And, um, I don't have, oh, um, bonus action. I can't, no, never mind. Actually, yes, I can, I think. Um, for my bonus action, I'm going to harness my divine power. Um, as a bonus action, you touch your holy symbol, utter a prayer, and regain one expended spell slot. So I'm going to go ahead and regain a level two spell slot. Nice. Action economy. And I'm done. All right, Quentin, you're up. I'm gonna shove this fucker. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess. Acle acrobatics or athletics? Yeah, athletics, I would say. For him, I mean. Oh. He gets a choice, I don't. Does he have disadvantage because he's restrained? Uh, Let me double check the status. Yeah. I always have the conditions in the background because I can't fucking remember. Um, disadvantage against deck deck saving throws, but he's gonna do fucking strength, because... It's not a saving throw anyways. It's just a contest. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he rolled... That's gonna be a 14. So he gets pushed five feet! <laughs> ah! 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 Could've so... Th <laughs> that's... What is that? 5d6? How, how big? How far is it? One, two, three, four, fifty feet down. Oh, it's only fifty feet. Right here, yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, five d six. Okay, roll it, <laughs> or I'll roll it, I guess, because that's D DM roll. I thought um, there were hundreds of feet. I was lied to. Oh wait, no, that is a hundred feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> dead. <laughs> he just got yeeted across the map. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, dead. Like way the fuck up. It's dead. For sure dead. <laughs> I was like, I got lied to. I thought that was under. <laughs> it, it was yeah, dead right. even with the 50 feet, but with oh, the 500 okay. feet. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> All right. Um, that took way too long. And that's initiative. So, that, that was a long right. combat. <laughs> Big, strong men. Um, could you unbar the door, please? Actually, I take damage from the poison, don't I? 
Yeah, you would. You would take um, 1d10 poison damage. Let's see what that would be. 1d10. Are you guys poisoned? Two. Two. The poison lasts then for... Then get a con save. 21? Does that save? Does that kick it out? Give me one sec. Uh... <laughs> yeah, 21 does work. Ro, Ro you're still poisoned. Um, it save. does not end until you make the save. Yep. Um, are we still in combat? No, we're not in combat. But Ro I is reach still poisoned. Out. I look at Ro and she looks a little... Does she look like sick or something? You'd have to do a medicine check. I rolled a four. You. Okay, she oh, can you know what I was going to say? Hey, she... everybody okay? I got fucking poisoned. What do you think? Oh, um, I just go ahead and poke her and I use uh, Lay on Hands to remove a, a status effect. So poison. Thank you, dear. Right. You guys and can I take wave... your green markers off. I wave from the top and I'm like, I'm okay. Nelly, <laughs> nelly. I go down there and I try to catch. <laughs> Are you gonna jump, Callie? Do you need to catch? Do you need me to catch you? Can we just like basket catch her, like leader style? <laughs> I got this. I got this. Jump, Callie. Trust fall. And I just like swan dive off. <laughs> oh my god! Swan dive! Oh my god! <laughs> Breaks her fucking neck. And I catch her. Upside Jimmy. down. Give me a dexterity check to see if you can catch <laughs> Fuck her. Fuck me. Fuck me. Do I have to do an acrobatics roll on that? She's yes. swan diving. Swan dive. <laughs> I said fucking jump, not fucking That's kill yourself. That's a 19 yourself. plus 3. That's a 22. Oh, oh. no, I rolled a natural 1. Callie, no! is, Callie swan dives, but with, you said a 22? Yes. She swan dives, but then at the last second, she fucking tumbles in the air and lands on her feet like, ta-da! Thank God. <laughs> and I'm over here still waiting for her to drop, and I don't see her. I'm like, Where, where'd she go? And I hand you a mushroom and go, thank you. Uh, oh, me. shit. Um, yeah. God, glad I could help. You would have broken. <laughs> had you not rolled well, you would have broken your neck. Yeah, it's a 19 plus... I had didn't know I had a plus three on act acrobatics. It was a 19 plus three, so that was good. You would have definitely fallen on your fucking head and taken yeah. some damage. My <laughs> feather more than ready. <laughs> that one. <laughs> I didn't even oh. see her drop. I was just like still looking up. Like, <gasps> and I tucked Christ. and I landed it. Now they just the blood forward like a good old fight. Anybody particularly damaged? I'm fine. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm 10. I, I got damaged by 10. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna... Can we have some of the big strong men unbar the door, please? It's getting uh, late. Quentin, do you want to help me with this door? I'm just gonna, from here, full barrel at it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I get a I'll, run follow, up. I'll follow suit. Just Give me straight. athletics. You could just take the... <laughs> no, we're doing this. You can, you can roll two. I won't take advantage. <laughs> hey, okay. both give uh, me an athletics check. Fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> fuck. I rolled a natural... I rolled a natural one again. No! You oh, guys are the right gentlemen. <laughs> we both this trip fucking, before we hit the this door. Guy, <laughs> this guy is going take, in the fucking bad no-no bag. Take the... Take the lumber off the door. You don't have to go through the lumber and the door. It's all the same check. I'm sorry, Alaric. I can't use this dice set anymore. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's just one of those of, like, I see the both of you just go... <laughs> so just take the wood off. And I, I probably don't the door. Does, <laughs> I it look like, <laughs> does it look like it's... like? Okay, what is the tower made out of? Stone. Is the door wooden? I'll take out my fucking torch and torch the burn the fucking door. God, it, what? Let me let me double check. Um, okay, never mind. I'm waiting till you know. Tell me. It's iron bound wood. Is the door? Okay. So it'll so, still it'll still burn. But it's gonna have like iron pieces left behind, barring your way. Which are gonna is... be debilitated. We can go ahead and break those afterwards. Is there no way for Stongman to open this door without getting rid of the door? Because I would like to close the door because it's cold! It is... Uh... It is a... Athletics 22 to get the door opened. I cast Detect Magic. Athletics? Just checking. 
Oh. It is not a magical door. This is just a Do I a detect any other door. magic nearby? You said it's um, the flames. You said oh, go it, ahead, sorry. You said it's an athletics check? Yes. I'm gonna roll that athletics because I actually have oh, proficiency because you need in to it. Advance it. I want to give her guidance. <laughs> so do I. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I see. You got oh, what's her. the guidance? Plus four? Yes. Yeah. A D4. Four. But don't guide me. <laughs> don't guide any uh, of us. That's... Fuck. Yeah. Hold on now. Trying to do the math. Uh, 16 plus 2. 18? 18. Eight. Nope. nope. Uh, Flash of genius. Plus 4. <laughs> Wait though. Oh, yeah. you already Wait, that would, what? That would, that would do it, Ro. <laughs> you fucking just rip this door off of its hinges and unbar it. Well, <laughs> that was <laughs> not that uh, hard, guys. I fucking look over to Quentin and I just say, "We loosened it for you." She got a lot of help from Fix. <laughs> I did nothing. No, not we saw her. her. I am no, very fucking, observant. No, insight nothing. check. Fuck you. <laughs> Fix, give me a deception versus his insight. <laughs> we watched you cast magic, Fix. I mean, let's see if he can lie about it. I rolled a seven. <laughs> What's your deception, Fix? Yeah, I think you need new dice. <laughs> this is a new one. This is the one I usually use. I rolled a five, but I'm gonna spend another flash of genius. Fuck you! <laughs> get a nine. Well, Quentin noticed. Like, um, Oscar, like, yeah, gaslighting yeah, me, man. Just like every fucking man in my life. <laughs> but Quentin is not, not here for this bullshit. Ow. Except Alaric. Except Alaric. <laughs> Insight is a very important skill when you're a city guard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so can I uh can I cast can I roll for perception to see if I can tell whether or not he's lying? They they already uh th that oh, would yeah, be no. insight. Um Quentin did did determine, but if you'd like to determine independently, you certainly yeah. may. Quentin yeah. called him called him out on his bullshit. <laughs> Quentin okay. would immediately call him out on his bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we good loosened then. that door. All right. Uh, What's that, Kelly? Yeah. Wait, I'm good Kelly's then. Saying something, guys. No, I said I'm good then, because my perception is plus 11. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, when you're detecting, like, if somebody's telling the truth or not, that's insight. Okay. Jesus Christ, Laura Bailey. <laughs> my insight is plus 6, so it's not that bad. Do you want to know the correct way through that easily? Hmm. Dispel magic on the fire. Well, yeah, we don't have us dispel had magic. I don't have a third level spell. Oh, bummer. Rose the I only have one that could spells. have it. <laughs> in our party. Okay, we're inside. Yay. I'm detecting good and evil. <laughs> hey. When you go in, go in here, um, you see a cold hearth stands across from the door, the wind howling down its chimney, a st stone staircase is on the south wall, three windows overlook a foggy sea. Um, as far as detect good and evil... Um, is that, that's 30 feet. Let me see if there's anything within 30 feet you might notice. Ooh. Nope. Nothing with, you don't detect anything. Oh, well, it is looks like at least this floor is. I can build a fire with? There's it a heart. Like least... There's the door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's that left is... of it? That is very correct. There is the sh <laughs> row just fucking shattered the door, and there are the pieces of that. Um, I can't sense anything evil on this floor, at least, guys. But we might want to go ahead and cover the top floors to see if um it's safe to actually camp here. I think going up a floor at the very least would be best, so we're not by the open door. But that also means that we're Me trapped here. That's fine. I'll take, when we take a long rest tonight, I'll pick up the spell magic. Okay. Against one of my other third level spells. I'm gonna go ahead and drop life transfer, life transference because I haven't used it. Does anybody need any healing? Uh, if we t I mean, if we're resting, I'm good. But, well, we're checking upstairs. I just want to make sure that, you know, we're not running into anything. Oh, wait, well. While everybody is huddled up, I'm going to use my, uh, I still have my cannon with me. So, everybody gets 
six temporary hit points. Ooh. Um, raise your hand if you need healing. I'll be fine. I mean, I raise your hand if you need healing, he says. Not I'll be fine. Touch quit. I mean, I I'll, guess. I'm, pizza, I'll row, take Quentin, who else? I'll, Callie? I'll, I'll take some. I cast prayer of healing, level two. It's my last oh, one everybody. for that one. That's everybody. That's, um, yeah, that's basically everybody. The rock down at the bottom of the mountain raises a clock. <laughs> <laughs> I healed it for two. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I am going to spend my last divine fucking harness divine power for a second level again and cast prayer of healing again, hopefully at not a shit level. <laughs> Mother fuck me. Hey, no, actually that's minutes. good. Those are ten minute casting spells. Oh seriously? Yeah. Oh, never mind, I'm sorry. I It's fine. I I, I take that back. You all have two heals. I, I didn't Hold catch up. that when you did it in combat earlier. I kinda of forgot that. No, I only did combat. it the one time. You did I only it did combat. it the one time. Yeah, I didn't do it in combat again. Um, I'm, my detect uh, my detect evil and good is still up, right? Not if you did prayer of healing. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, no. Fuck yeah. me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also, need to I, learn my spells. I love that. Oh, it's gonna be a short session tonight. We get completely derailed fighting something that Boone probably had no, no idea too. we were gonna hit. Well, I knew I knew you were coming through here. Um, I didn't think that combat would take that long, but hey. <laughs> if yeah. I would have just attacked it, it probably would have been quicker, but I wanted it to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to walk up to the second floor. Yeah. Hey, guys, okay. I'm, checking down, I'm checking upstairs just in case. Let's second try floor is set... over here. Explain if you need us. us. I think we'll Screen set up maybe. upstairs as... Doesn't see okay. anything. Bro. Okay. Is there anything that I can try to use as a door <laughs> or something? There's another fireplace up here, Mitsu. Come up here. It'll be warmer. Yeah, right. I'll take the door with me. <laughs> I'll help carry chunks of it. <laughs> I want a fire. What do, too. what do I see, Boone? As you come up here, you see um, the upper level of the tower is an ice box with windows set in almost every wall. A rusted iron ladder bolted to the floor and ceiling leads up to a wooden trap door. Mounted above the stone hearth is a dire wolf's head. The wind coming down the chimney howls in its stead. Burr, it's cold in here. Ooh, yeah, it is. Um, do we see anything of value or of anything of note? Um, the only thing of note is going to be the ladder leading up to the trap door. This room is pretty, pretty empty, and the dire wolf head. Does it look like anyone's been again. here? Yeah. Um, let me see here. Hearth is cold, you said. Yes, freezing cold. Which I mean, kind of tracks because you're coming up into a very cold mountainous region. Doesn't look like anybody's been here in a bit. It looks like. Yeah, not really. Um, okay. Um, I'll climb the ladder and check up. Not, not. I'll poke my head out of the trap door and see what I can see upstairs. Okay. Uh, let me see. Here. And all the windows are intact, right? If yes. we're just getting wind through the fireplace. Yes. I'm just gonna watch from the bottom of the stairs up at Oscar. Make sure he doesn't get stabbed when he gets up. <laughs> all right, Oscar. As you come up, um, you see. Uh, as you open the trap door, you see ten-foot-tall gold-plated statues that stand atop the battlements facing outward. Each one depicts a human knight holding a lance. The cold wind stirs the snow, under which you see human skeletons clad in rusty mail. Well, you found the knights that guarded this place. I close the trap. Leave it alone. Leave <laughs> Just it like, alone. you know... What's up there? As you, as you open the door, though... You do hear something. Uh, you hear, you see s snow that swirls and turns into the form of thin young women, and the wind howls. Be gone. The treasure is ours. Duly noted. Close. 
Okay. What's up? What? What's up there, Oscar? So uh, I, I just climbed down the stairs and I'm just like, tower's haunted. <laughs> Why are Helpful. we staying here? Um... No. I tell them exactly what I saw. I saw, I saw a flurry of of uh, snow, and then um, w this maid, this snow maiden, I guess, snow looking maiden, something like that. A couple of them actually, uh, apparated in front of me and said to stay out of the top to top of the tower because the treasure is theirs. Sure. So, y'all want to sleep and then kill them? Yeah, no, I just want to sleep. <laughs> y'all want to sleep and then kill them? I mean, let them rest, I... Oscar. Yeah, you're probably right. So Before we actually go to sleep, actually, wait, no, it won't work. Never mind. I'm sure they're not going to come down. And Is there a open? latch or some way to secure this trapdoor? You said it was a ghost. I mean, it's like a snow thing. There, You don't see anything here. You might be able to improvise a way, but there's not like a lock built in or anything. Um, there's no way to lock this, y'all. So <sighs> It's fine. They weren't in here when we came up. I'm not too worried about them suddenly coming in. Okay. Uh, just to be on the safe side, I'll go ahead and take first watch. If you all want to go ahead and get a rest, sure. some rest. Do you want help? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll stay up with Oscar and take first watch. Okay. Um, who wants to take second watch? I'll take second Clinton. watch. And... Clinton and Callie? Nope, yeah. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Clinton and Callie it is. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Mitsu gets last watch. Me and her took middle watch last time. We both deserve a full night's sleep. Okay. I'll take last watch with Mitsu. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. Tone's on third. No, Quentin didn't want it to... Okay, whatever. That's that's <laughs> up for you guys to decide. I'm not going to... Let them have their moment. That's right. So, um, let's stoke this fire. Get a little bit of uh, some nourishment going from our packets or whatever. Oh, yeah, food. We need a ration. Right? I'll I, eat a I, ration as well. I yeah, make mushrooms. sure you do. No, the survival has Ooh. not really been a thing, um, but you would need. The Callie's ration would be a great or mushroom would be a great accompaniment, but you do need a ration. I ha only okay. have so seven I, right now. I, well, six after I use this one. So. Same. So I go ahead and um, eat a ration, and I accompany it with some of uh, Callie's mushrooms, which are del delicious as always. Unless after somebody doesn't need to eat for a reason. After the experience, we don't have magenta rock, in here. <laughs> I'm a little turned off. Yeah, somebody can, somebody fucking cast King's Feast already. Oh yeah, it's how simple to <laughs> Why doesn't our druid get good berry? I have that. The what? Yeah. <laughs> then everybody, <laughs> she can cast that, and everybody can just eat a good berry. You want that? I can do that. Sure. This is Zach. I'm not gonna. <laughs> you can do your own thing. Quentin has no idea you can do it. So he's just I kind of forgot that. about it, honestly. Up to ten, yeah, I can do some good berries. I was Ooh. like, do you want the mushroom or do you want a good berry? I'll take Why a good berry and a mushroom. Okay. Can we just flavor that her mushrooms or her good berries look like mushrooms? <laughs> like I'm just picturing the one-up mushrooms from Mario. Yeah. Which one's which? And I just basically stuff both of them in my mouth. Ah. My good berries are, are really cute purple mushrooms. Oh, oh that's the poison mushroom. <laughs> no, that's, that's the red the one. That's the poison one. That's the red ones. Those are the ones that I was throwing at Quentin when he first came around and insulted my making of chairs. <laughs> I don't think I insulted it. <laughs> Asked if he could do it. I did it. And I was impressed at the time. Good. I'm well. going to throw some some red mushrooms at him when I run watch. I have good constitutions. <laughs> so it's fine. Okay. All right. We'll wind so, down for the night, I guess. Yeah, we'll do we'll do watches and then we'll end because we're a little bit past time. Okay. And I have to be up. Early. You thought we'd have to end early. 
We're not. I, I mean, I I thought, but here we are. So we didn't end early. <laughs> we'll we'll I just, way to I just wanted the expectation to be like, if we got to Amber Temple, we were gonna like call Stop. it there. Mm. All right. I'll give That's Asuka fair. advantage on watch since he knows what's coming anyway, or what he's paranoid about. I'm I'm very watchful of the um of the trap door, but I also want to make sure that um just as a heads up, Boone, what the fuck is up with this? Um, <laughs> honestly, I don't know. I, it's there's nothing that I see written about it, so I are we assuming it's just a wall? A window. Yeah, window. weird window, I guess. Sure. For okay. the watchtower. Okay. It's probably something that the guards could, like, shoot down at the door if they needed to. Probably so, so yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to perch myself right here on the on the top of the stairs where I can watch the trap door and I can watch the front door. Okay. Give me a perception check. As a because I'm giving him mine, too. All right. And I'll just... Here Natural again. 20. Ooh. Ooh! Very nice. So, with that roll, um, you don't see anything from the trapdoor. You don't see anything coming through the stairs or anything. But you do hear something. Fuck. Off in the okay. distance, you hear a deep and bellowing bah! What? Oh, no! What? <laughs> that was player, not Oscar. I think I know too. Deep and bellowing, ba. Eugene, is that you? Go? I may or may not have read ahead on that. What do you mean you read ahead? <laughs> I not read ahead. Sorry, some I talked to somebody about Morovia and they said something about something there. So. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, you and read ahead? I and I really thought that it was not going to be a thing because honestly. Yeah. Anywho, I was, um, I was thinking of something else. I asked Ro, I'm like, Ro, did you hear something? I didn't hear anything except the wind, dear one. It sounded <laughs> like a sheep. Eugene, is that you? Eugene? You're asleep, Sorry. woman. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could have sworn I heard a ba, like a sheep. That's Fine, as long as it's not in the tower, I truly don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, Eugene. God damn. Okay, um... Yeah, okay, sounds good. Um, I'll end our watch, I guess. Um, does anything else happen? Nope, everything else seems totally normal otherwise. Who's taking second watch? Was it Callie and Quentin? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Nope. Okay. I, wanna, I go ahead and rouse <laughs> both of them. I wake up and and a poof of spores. <laughs> what? Callie, it's your turn for the watch. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, and... I move Quentin <laughs> a little bit more to wake him up. I go over and I make a, like a mushroom that looks kind of like a feather. It's like fluffy a little bit, and I rub it under his nose. I see. Wake up. Uh, welcome back to the world of the living. No. <laughs> I'm just picturing like uh, Mitsa over here by the fire because it feels like home and just like yeah. There's just a bunch of snot in my hands. Uh, Ew. <laughs> um, oh, oh, oh. I, hey, Callie, Quentin, uh, we're gonna take a uh, nap now. But just as a heads up, I heard a sheep outside. A sheep. Um, a sheep? It sounded like a ba. I'm not sure if it was a sheep uh, or not, but just as a heads up. Sounds like dinner. I mean, I was, so was keep an ear out thing? just in case. Does it sound like dinner? It maybe, but it's already gonna be breakfast, so just okay. just giving you a heads up. Keep an eye, keep an ear out for that kind of stuff, okay? And then I'm okay. gonna go ahead and set up for for bed. I don't know what to do with my hands. Be right back a hot second. <laughs> I need, I need to use the restroom. Unacceptable. I'm like, I, I like sit here, I'm like, hmm, and I'm like laughing at you because you got snug hands. <laughs> Wipe them on, fix. No, don't do that. That's gross. You leave my pickle alone. 
I, Fix, I, give I us a COVID save. <laughs> <laughs> I make you I make you a very a very large What would you say that is? <laughs> Con, I guess. <laughs> Con Con save thirteen. Mm. I would say you passed. <laughs> <laughs> With the current variant, probably. Oh god. <laughs> All right, um, for watch, give me perception. Okay, I got it. Thanks. You helping, Quentin? Uh, probably. <laughs> I I'll mean, give my yeah, own. <laughs> I've got plus eleven perception as well. I, I took would... in per I took proficiency in the skill, so I want to roll. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go ahead. What you is your roll? Don't need help. I don't need help. <laughs> Ten. Uh. Wow. <laughs> I got a 26. <laughs> See? You don't right. help. I uh, could have gotten high too, though. Tally, you also hear a deep and bellowing bah. Did you hear that, Kenan? Huh? Did you hear that? Uh. Hear. What? Sheep. Big sheep. Big sheep? Big sheep. <gasps> I'm gonna look out the window to see if I see anything. Don't do that! It will know where we're at! I mean, it's either gonna destroy our cart, or... We you already need gave to your know. perception check, Quentin. You do not see it. No. Because since we're up where there's a bunch of windows, can I look out and see anything? You okay. gave your perception check? Yeah, it was a 26. Okay, so... Oh, I'll look out a window. Callie. Off in the distance. Climbing up the slopes of the mountain. You see something. Just for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking big. <laughs> Just for a moment, and then it climbs back down. It's eating the rock. So I go, I go, <gasps> and get really still, and like, go inside, you know like whenever a kid sees something they shouldn't see, and they're like inside the door, they're like, <gasps> So I'm doing that by the door, and I like got big, really big eyes, and I'm like, I don't think it saw me. I'm just oh. standing in the window looking out because I don't see shit. <laughs> Somehow like... Quentin missed a huge goat off in the background. Where is he at? Like, I like push him out of the way of the window, but like, stay out of the window! It didn't see us! See, what didn't see us? The big sheep goat! I mean, I mean, they can't get that big. It is a big motherfucker. I mean, they get to, like, your height, Max. N no, it is a big motherfucker. <laughs> it could eat you. Me. I'm like, you. Try. Get out of the way of the window. Like, I'm trying to shove you out of the way okay, of the window. Okay, okay. You're really big. <laughs> 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 All right. Anything else on else watch? He got this covered. I'm gonna go to sleep. You can't wait to watch a little I guess. I need to get rid. Of throw a red though. mushroom at you. I throw a red mushroom at you. It's a red mushroom. It's a poison one. I just throw it at your face. <laughs> you got like it's a steel stone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played up the RP aspect of it as much, but the food in Barovia is kind of shitty. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Quentin, uh -oh. your stomach hurts. Your your oh. tummy hurts. 
my god. Oh. Now you got the shits. Where am I supposed to poop? In here? In the fireplace, I guess. Fire oh, no, 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 no. You will go messing cloud. <laughs> if I go Quit. downstairs, it'll Quit. rise your, up here. Your tummy is just... Mm. <laughs> you you need to excuse yourself. You're not going to be able to fall asleep. <laughs> Where the fuck? <laughs> this is your fault. This Not is happening. letting him have a long rest and giving him a point of exhaustion for RP throwaway line. I didn't say he was. I didn't say he was I'm gonna never going to go poop outside. Go Not oh, never, no. but like. All In right. the cold. Quentin, In the cold. Quentin squats poop down. In the tower. And you hear him go. <laughs> and it fades to black. <laughs> <laughs> you were all awoken by the grunting. <laughs> the grunting and subsequent splashing. Oh, come on. <laughs> like a plop. <laughs> all right, Mitsa and um, Ro, I think. Fix. Or, me. Fix. Fix. I'm going to go outside. <laughs> No, he went yeah, outside. I went, I went outside to do it. He went outside to shit. I'm, I'm at least a little considerate. But at least inside. Right now. <laughs> the wind blowing in through the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> he, he catch a whiff. It probably freeze oh, pretty I, fast. It would freeze pretty fast. Uh, I, I will assist Fix in looking out. All right, advantage I'll... for me. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, guidance myself. That's the natural one that I will re-roll, because I'm a halfling. <laughs> That's another natural one, no. <laughs> <laughs> my second one was also a natural... No. no. I re-rolled it, and it was a six. And then my advantage was a natural one, which I will also re-roll. Holy shit. And it was still low. <laughs> but I have guidance. Plus four. Uh, so... 6 plus 4, 10 plus 5, 15, slash a genius, 19. <laughs> Let me stack everything. Alright, Fix, you also hear a deep. Oh. I'm managing my spells, by the way. I'm taking away. Uh, fuck, what was I gonna take away? Something third level. You're getting dispel magic. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to remember what I was taking away to life take transference. That. Thank you. Is what you said. Yeah, thank you. Me right, too. fix. You also. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say real quick that fix. You also see Quentin sort of crawling back to his, um, <laughs> to his <laughs> sleeping spot and just holding his stomach and just kind of shuddering and falling asleep. <sighs> <sighs> Move my bed roll closer to the fire. <laughs> Mita, mm. what are we doing at the Amber Temple? When Shit. <laughs> we were told that there was something in the temple that would that protects blood from mm. ever really being defeated, and if we dealt with this thing, that. Perhaps we could actually get away. And maybe the people living here would not be suffering anymore. So, if there is anything that we can do to better our chances of someday leaving this place, you know, and seeing our husband. I mean, there's something like that. Yeah. I think mine is still here, but I just don't know where he is. Oh, well, is it better to get him out also, sir? Do you think our path involves goats? Because I'm hearing some goats within the distance. Goats? Yeah, it's like <laughs> a goats? faint, ghostly goat. You aren't from Wales. Sorry. 
Uh, well, we are on a mountain. They live here, don't they? I think that checked out, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't come around many mountains in my line of work, but when I do... Can't sail through mountains. No, no not very <laughs> much. Um, Airships. I've seen lots of goats, but not... No goats? Ghost no goat? goats? Ghost goats? Goat goats? I don't know. Um, I'm not very familiar with it. But, um, we should tell the others in the morning that you are hearing some goats. It's something to look out for, yeah. And who knows, we may have a tasty breakfast because when's the last time that anything, you know, fresh meat and such. Oh, yeah. Maybe that goat will be our feast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping so. Something to look forward to. Alright. So tell me of your husband. What was he like? He's very loving. I think... Our differences really... appealed to each other. Oh? Yeah. I think I was... I live more like... It's like a high society life, with him being like, more like a farm, yeah. farm life. We kind of, as we passed each other, there was just something about him that just gives me a lot of excitement towards my life because everything was so... I got used to my life that I got so boring. Uh -huh. And he provided a breath of fresh air for you. Or... Yeah. That sounds wonderful. Well, I hope that we can find him soon. And... all out of here. I have not seen my husband in 10 years. We, <sighs> we separated. We could not. <laughs> we could not bear to Become captain of the almost pirate ship in the wild. You will never believe this. Oh, I was so oh my old manner and oh I get oh the stories I will have to tell him. Ah but first we have to get through this temple and through that douchebag vampire. <laughs> You're okay. This, we're in a really far and rough place. I try to comfort her and like, rub her back. And I, I give Fix a big hug and 
it's also kind of looking out for gods, but crying. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they well, see them again soon. Both. Yeah. I think. We have a good shot. <laughs> Can I do anything about that? I don't know. <laughs> he has a, a weak stomach, I guess. Uh, His food can... poisoning is past. He's asleep now. Oh, I can um, find like a stone within like the rubble and cast a uh, I use magical tinkering to make it emit a. Uh, It, it says I can it may, it can emit an odor and um some I don't what's a good smelling flower lavender, lavender. Is it fresh fruit lavender oh I like lavender yeah ugh gross <laughs> <laughs> vanilla I, you're not he, you're not here DM <laughs> says lavender smells worse than shit real life real plumeria tuberose anything I like lavender uh, though <laughs> I'll rest the stone in, within the middle so it kind of just like encompasses the room kind of like a magical air freshener you a little bit <laughs> <laughs> and you even blow shit up you're wonderful I mean it's I've learned a lot through with Cynthia, this gun is going to be real handy. Oh, yeah, you're quiet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we sh Here, let me show you a few things with it. And she'll go on and, you know, describe the all the different parts, maybe not magically, but you know, physically about how to take it apart, clean it, and to put it back together again. I didn't know you would be, you would excel with fire. <laughs> I'm a parrot. I see all sorts of things. Does Mita no have firearm sense. proficiency? She doesn't. But she would have someone on her crew that does, so she would know how to take care of it. Oh, like, okay. She can't, like, do the aiming thing, but, you know, <laughs> she can clean them. She me. couldn't fix it either, but she can clean them. I appreciate the knowledge. Make sure this doesn't get gunked up. I, someone on my crew, they, they, um... Uh, lost a few fingers because they did not remember to clean their gun properly and then they exploded and it, ugh. we called him Stumpy from then on so <laughs> of, of course you know he has his horrendous accent we wanted to count, uh, call him Count Stumpula but that was too long so we just called him Stumpy for sure I <laughs> mean I'll, I'll try to be careful and if anything happens, I'm gonna think of a good name that will match for my last name. The oh, cycle. I, <laughs> I will be a burnt water box. Are you burning? I don't let's know. <laughs> I'm once again asking for your aid in combat. <laughs> All right. Just... Anything else on your role play together? I'm just gonna lay my head close to her. Yeah, yeah, I think we're just yeah. gonna cuddle as yeah. we keep watch and wait for the others to wake up. Right. Everybody can long rest and yay. That's Level where up. we'll call it. <laughs> Shit. Bam. <laughs> oh, guys! Yeah, I actually started crying. Oh. Yeah, you almost made me cry. I don't want to hear it. You're not allowed to do that multiple times in a 48-hour period, damn it. 
I got so into the role play. Oh my goodness. I didn't know where it would where it would take, but I loved it. Yeah, like you started talking about your husband and then Mita is like, I need to pass things up with my husband, I miss him. Like and it's just it was beautiful. I love the, the, awesome. the Sunday is on. coming back. You guys didn't hear her yawn. She's so mm -hmm. tiny. I really should um, go to bed because I have to be up early tomorrow. For good please. reason. But... Uh, Yay, sword. Just as a reminder, I will not be here next week. Yes, uh, we will be returning for the Mitsa multi shot story next weekend. Yeah. So, if you're I'm up planning to on it. My, daughter, oh, yeah. my daughter's computer. I can do it in Colorado. Because I, I will be. be I will be with my students in Corpus Christi. Wait. Y'all should kill it. Y'all are gonna do right. so good. I am going to pick up fresh carne asadas and, or no, carnitas and homemade tortillas in the morning. That sounds amazing. I am nice. so excited. No matter where you're from. All right, I am gonna hop off for the night, though. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Being attacked by a vicious creature. Good night. <laughs> oh, so vicious. Oh. Look at that puffy little puppy. She's so teeny. Oh, um, <laughs> we did a lot more than expected, and I'm. I'm gonna that. end the stream, guys. Uh, say goodbye. No.